well, well, happy Saturday night, everybody. I just got home from my Saturday night out with Mr. Fox. And uh, there's breaking news. Dave Neal had it before mm -hmm. everybody else because he is quite the investigative journalist. Let me tell you, he is. Um, but I know it's the night stream and I always play that intro when I do the night stream. However, this new information we have with the fetal attraction, Laura Owens, Clayton Eckert nonsense has me so hyped up that I'm missing something. You know what I'm missing? This is what I'm missing. Megan Fox. Yeah, Megan Fox has the story. Megan Fox. Megan Fox. Megan Fox writes at PJ Media. Eat Tucker. <laughs> Damn it, <man. laughs> I cried for two days. <laughs> Megan, thank you very much for that. So, um, I can, I can explain the bed thing. <laughs> if you don't show up and vote, up your ass. I don't care if you're in the hospital. <laughs> Crawl to the state. Crawl there. It's like Jesus going to the temple. He's like, I gotta whip it. <laughs> Get out! Get, Get out! out! The lovely and wonderful Megan Fox. Not that hey. one. <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> <laughs> Not the weird one that drinks blood and has toe thumbs. Megan Fox. Megan. And honestly, Megan, if you don't like it, I'm sorry. She's the devil. Megan. Megan Fox. Megan. Megan. Megan Fox. I've been very nice to you, although I could probably maybe not be based on the way you have treated me, but I wouldn't do that. You've never met a like me. You want to tangle? You want to go? Holy Holy sh too much cussing on this. I guess we didn't believe it, so we got to turn it off. But I just, it just, it's. It... You pissed off the wrong woman. Oh my God. I have been a soup when Megan Fox runs wild on you, brother. She's the devil. <laughs> <laughs> Not for publication. <laughs> the story. I'm Megan. 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 Megan Fox. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers. Hmm. <laughs> Well, it's a special evening. I had to play both intros because it's a late night show, but also I wanted to dance a little bit. IT Goatee Brad had to pop in because uh, this is just, it's a shit show. It's going to be fun tonight. How you doing, Brad? I'm doing all right. Good evening, everyone. I made Brad go get beer. Yep. <laughs> I've got my wine. I'm all set and ready to go. Uh, so I was out with my husband tonight. We went to a country club to do some kind of fundraiser. I don't know. It was one of those things where you, you know, you pay money, you put your raffle tickets in to win stuff, right? Like silent auctions and stuff like that. You get all dolled up looking lovely as always. Oh, thank you very much. This is, this was the, I don't have time to do my hair look because <laughs> I was busy making dog food, which is a video that's going to be coming exclusive to locals very soon. Me making my dog's food. Um, <laughs> but I had no time to actually do the hair. So I did the slick back look. Um, however, uh, I won. I have all kinds of luck tonight. Mm. I knew for a, I, Brad, it's the weirdest thing. But I walk in there 
Uh, don't worry, Alex. You're following me on Locals, aren't you? You'll uh, you'll get the dog food recipe. It's amazing. You're going to love it. It's just like the farmer's, whatever the farm, that really expensive shit is, but I do it for cheap. Uh, it's coming on Locals. Make sure, email me, Alex, because I'll give you a membership. You're my cousin. I owe that to you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll give, Alex gets a free membership because she's related to me genetically. So that's how that works. If you're related to me genetically, you get into Locals for free. Um. Anyway, there was this raffle and you got to buy raffle tickets. And what they do is, you know, they have little bags in front of the items that you want and you just put your raffle tickets in the bags. Yep. Well, I get like this big, it was 20 bucks to buy like a giant thing of tickets. So I went, <laughs> yes, this is nepotism. Well, nepotism is a thing. It's, there's a reason why there's a name for it because it's real. All right. So I go over to the a bunch of the things that I want and I start putting the tickets in. And as I'm putting my tickets in, the voice inside my head says, you're going to win this shit. I'm like, and so I was immediately like, oh, I'm going to win this shit. So I'm just like putting in whatever I want because I'm going to win this shit. Right. Uh, Brad, I won that shit. How much shit did you win? <laughs> I was the only one in the whole place that won three things. Damn. <laughs> and here I brought you. I don't have all of them. I put one ticket in the bag with the bills thing. The, there was like a bills. Um, bills basket or whatever. It was a bills like playing cards and dice. And then there was like a a thing of like little bills players, like little characters mm -hmm. that I thought my son would really like. And I was like, ah, I'll, I'll put one. I put one ticket in there. I won. <laughs> I won it. What I won it. So I don't have that to show you. But then I saw this bag that was in my color, and it was in my color. So I was like, well, I got to win that shit. So I put like mm, maybe four or five tickets in there, maybe six. Oh. And then I put um, a couple other tickets in this other basket. And then my husband did a blind, uh, what do you do? The blind auction. Yeah, auction? yeah on a camping set. Oh, well, here's my bag because I won mm. that shit. <laughs> I think my I wife saw, has a similar bag. Yeah, look, it has like all these other things that come in it. There's like a little crossbody bag. And then there's, someone's going to have to explain to me though. What is this? What is this? What? What is, what is that? What do you put in this? It's like a I asked my daughter this and she goes, divorce papers? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, you've never seen divorce papers, have you? They wouldn't fit in there. Um, what What is this? I don't know what you put in this. It's a clutch, but like I couldn't put anything in it because it's so thin. Like you can't put a wallet in here. Do you just have to put like, like, like cash in it? It could be a coin purse. It's not for coins. It's too big. All right. Everyone is saying it's a clutch. Well, that's possible because look, on this thing, there is a wristlet, which this is too big for a wristlet. So maybe it was supposed to be hooked on here. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah. That it's looks a better. clutch with a wristlet. There it is. I mean, but this is my color. You, if you know me, you know that this is my color. I love these turquoisey blues, baby blues, light blues. This is my color. Man, I saw it. I put the ticket in and I was like, I'm going to win that shit. And guess what? I did. <laughs> so I'm excited. I had a, oh, and, and Mr. Fox won the camping set too. So we had quite a night. We had quite a night. I know. I got, I, Alex, I got three bags in one. Three bags in one. I mean, can you believe that? And I paid twenty dollars, twenty dollars for that thing of tickets, and I got the bags, and I got the bills shit, and I got the camping shit. Like I got all the shit. Like I knew it the second I started putting the tickets in. Something said, "You're gonna win. You're gonna win." Uh, so it's been a lucky night. And speaking of luck, I got an interesting email today. <laughs> This is where the real fun starts. Uh -huh. Oh, but I also have to mention something. Alex, pay attention. Alex, you're going to want to know this. Do you see my wine glass that I'm drinking with this bright red lipstick? And you notice that there's no 
bright red lipstick on the glass. I bought this new lipstick from Amazon and it's in the Amazon store. It's from Bay Free. It's a Korean lip stain. And on top of it, I am wearing, uh, it's a watermelon color and I am wearing Aquaphor because I have very dry lips and Aquaphor is the best for dry lips. I have been wearing, I have not reapplied this lipstick since 6, 5.30 PM. It is now 11.17. Look at my mouth and look at this glass. It's clean. O-M-G, Alex. If you don't have this shit, you have to buy it. It's in my uh, Amazon store, by the way. I get paid for that if you buy it through my Amazon store, which is in the link to the description. Go to the Amazon store, find the stains. I cannot even believe this lipstick. Like I am, for the, the last week since I've had it, I have been blown away by how it stays on. Brad cares nothing about this. I can tell. Oh, tuning out. I can feel his boredom coming through the Wi-Fi. But anyway, yeah, we're getting to the audio tapes. I was just giving you some time to share the stream. Did you like it yet? Did you like the stream? Because if you didn't like the stream, we can't get to the audio tapes. And you know what? We're not getting to the audio tapes until somebody sends the first super chat of the evening. It's Saturday night, folks. I do not stream on Saturday night. So we have to have some kind of monetary reason to continue this. Super chats, uh, cash apps, whatever it takes. Brad and I are actually talking about chicken cams, aren't we, Brad? We are. He made me draw. <laughs> you know what Brad made me do today? He made me draw the plans to my house. <laughs> well, structural diagrams are kind of necessary, but we should What did you your, think about my drawings? <laughs> um, two of the photos are a little fuzzy, but um, oh, I no. think we should share the, the trees and the chicken <laughs> the coop. <laughs> the trees. Can you bring it up? Because it's on my phone and I can't transfer that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I've got it. You do? <laughs> this is Brad. He doesn't know what he what he's asking for when he asks me for things. <laughs> he goes, I need you to make <laughs> all right. So he told me he wanted to know what the back of the house and where the coop was in relation to the house. And in, you get what you asked for. It, it, it is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Do you see Archie Ruckus in this photo? <laughs> I don't know. Is he hiding behind the fox? <laughs> that is not a fox. That is a German shepherd. <laughs> God damn it. I knew you were going to say that was a fox. <laughs> Look at that. Is, is that a fantastic drawing? It's good. Okay, love in two times. You have to go to the description in, of the video and go to Linktree, and my Amazon store is in there. Sorry, I should have been more specific. The Amazon store is where you go to find the lip stain. It's in the Linktree. I'm sorry, I didn't say that. That's my fault. This is totally my fault. You're not even boozed up. Come on, Megan, get your stuff Actually, together. I'm a little boozed up. I've had two glasses of wine at dinner and now I have a bottle open and I've had another half. So I'm two and a half glasses in. I have an excuse. I have an excuse. Yeah. Everyone can All have right. this link now. Oh my God, that drawing is so freaking funny. I'm funny. Like, <laughs> Did you laugh when you got that? Yeah. I... <laughs> Just so you know, Brad and I are working very hard on how to do the chicken cam. <laughs> <laughs> Force and Thunder says German Shepherd. Is that a mustache on the end of his mouth? <laughs> <laughs> no, what that was supposed to be was his mane because he's a long haired German Shepherd. So he has a mane kind of like a lion. And that's what it was supposed to be. But I can see now that I failed. <laughs> we were talking back and forth about different questions for getting everything set up and then Megan goes okay we're going out and I'm like oh Megan so you're swinging now and <laughs> it's 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 so funny it's like oh we're gonna go have dinner with friends it goes oh okay so you're, <laughs> so swinger you're swinging friend. now how dare you well that's the that's the internet's answer to everything apparently 
<laughs> is that you're swinging. Although, how weird is it that like everyone appears to be a swinger these days? It's crazy. Do, like... do you know about this? Do you know about? So for one, we've been watching the uh, Crumbly trial, right? And and we find out that Jennifer Crumbly was swinging with her boyfriend, not even her husband. She had a boyfriend on the side, and then they're swinging using an app. Well, get this. So today, all these people are tagging me on Twitter at Megan Fox Writer. By the way, uh, you can find me on Twitter. Everybody's tagging me on Twitter, and they're like, "Oh, look at this! Look at this shit! Um, look at what's happening in family court!" And I'm like, "What? What? What is this? Hold on!" Oh, let me... the, I I saw that, but. Oh, oh my geez. god, this is so crazy. How do I share this? Okay, wait, present, share screen. I always have to walk myself through this <laughs> verbally. I'm sorry. I can't do it any other way. A Bronx family court judge allegedly tried hooking up on a swinger app with a mom whose custody case she was hearing. So again, not only was the mom in the case on the swinger app, but so was the judge. judge. 47-year-old Judge Cynthia Lopez reached out to Sydney Sutherland on the 3 Fun app. I didn't even know that these things exist. Nope. Sutherland, who's trying to get her kids back, shot back and said, Bitch, you know who the fuck I am. <laughs> <laughs> this Look at the judge. This is the judge on the swinging app. Are you if, freaking kidding me? If you me? die, the the one little bit of hair on the front, that is like full Karen right there. <laughs> it is. It's a full Karen judge. It's a full Karen. Never go full Karen. And here's her judge photo. And she's right below the in God we trust. That's my favorite part. Oh, my God. I can't even. Lopez's public profile claims that she's bisexual, has a male partner named Ant, and we love thick girls. Wait, I need a different voice for this. I'm going to need I'm going to need a different voice to read this. We love thick girls just as much as we love petite girls. At the end of the day, it's all about personality. Guys at the most should be stocky and the female. I prefer males to be somewhat endowed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess your boyfriend wouldn't be named Ant if he was endowed. Oh my god, her boyfriend's name is Ant. I know, she's not that bad looking, says Matt. The entire comment section is full of people going, Wood! <laughs> Look, Where's no, this unhung is... hero to post that he could fix her? I know, right? Where, Where is he? All right, let's get to the super chats because you people are doing what I asked you to do. So we're going to get to the topic of the show. Here we go. Let's talk Megan's hair. <laughs> I love your screen name. Just here for one thing. <laughs> Thank you. Member for a month. Fat Yoga says, do it, Megan. <laughs> I'm pissing off the chat so bad. Double Trend says, it shall be me. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate you. Jingleberry says, bring on the audio tapes. Gotcha. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> Wait. Phrasing. Um, phrasing. It's happening with Harper. Uh, thanks for the super chat because Megan won that shit. Can you believe that? I mean, i tell you what. The universe provides. McCray. Thanks for the $10. Says, Megan, go to Locals and look for the link I put with Ben Shapiro watching reaction videos to his rap. It's hilarious. I bet it is. Uh, Hempland, Texas says, free doggo cam from last stream. Oh, I that's for Monday. I promise I'll do it on Monday. I can't do it tonight. The kids are watching TV in the living room and that's where it is. And then it'll be a whole thing. So I, I can't. But Monday, Monday happens. Uh, Paranoja, uh, where's the dog cam? <laughs> Women don't make me write a petition against it. I just explained why the dog cam can't happen tonight. Saturday is not a night that I usually stream. Dog cam's coming on Monday, I promise. Uh, first thing, Chachi's mom, super sticker. Thank you for that. Appreciate that. And Ooh, whoops, that was the, wrong, was the button. wrong one. <laughs> you put J Hatch in for the money. Jeez. <laughs> I had my thumb, my thumb moved. I didn't, it was supposed to be on the gun, the cash register. Kylie needs a holiday for the wine fund so you don't run out. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate that. All right, now I know you guys are serious. <laughs> I gotta go to go to locals. There's tips there too. Oh, there's tips on locals. Okay, JC Ta uh, Chappie sent a three dollar chip. Let's get those audio tapes started. He says, "All right, 
Excellent. All right. It's happening. All right. Let me explain. Let me explain. Hold on. Let me put up the banner too. So if, in case you guys don't want to send super chats, if you want to send uh, cash apps, PayPal, Venmo, it's all scrolling on the bottom of the screen. Where's Rumble? I, I could, where's Rumble? Oh, there Rumble you are. Ghetto. I Rumble, I got. I forgot to pop out the chat, but I've done it now. Oh, Nick likes the soup. Thanks for the Rumble rant. To help you pay all those bills you won and start explaining what the email was. Wait. Oh, yeah. The email I got. Right. Okay. Well, I got a couple of files in my email box, and they were audio files. Yes, they were. And um, there are two of them. Dave Neal broke the story. My God, for a Bachelor podcaster, this man is doing more investigative journalism than any reporter at the New York Times right now. Like, honest to God. Dave Neal, I'm going to stop calling you a podcaster and comedian, and I'm going to start calling you the, the nation, one of the nation's leading investigative journalists, uh, because that's what you are when you're pulling up audio uh, from, I don't know where, from the Scottsdale police. And that's what we got here. Let's get started, shall we, Brad? We're probably yep. going to stop and start several times through this, but this would be Laura Owens. For those of you who don't know the story, you really should just go back and go to my playlist that's called Fetal Attraction, okay? Fetal Attraction playlist, and you can you can bone up on this case. Um, phrasing? Extra large and extra hard. <laughs> it is probably the most entertaining case I've ever come across in my life because we can tell so many blowjob jokes and you just don't come across that many cases where you can tell blowjob jokes really you know like you it's just not very usual and in this case we have laura owens who alleged that after two blowjobs uh she became pregnant with twins because <laughs> one blowjob didn't quite do it but tw two pregnant with twins uh <laughs> the fellatio twins the tonsil twins with former bachelor Clayton Eckerd. However, after going to the media and telling them her story and it all blew up and everyone hated Clayton and everyone was like, oh, he's a deadbeat dad and all this stuff. Suddenly there's more. Oh, Alex, you haven't been here. Alex, honey, Alex, she's my cousin. I have to, I have to catch her up. Honey, you haven't been on this program for a while. This story is so insane. You need to go back and catch up. Please go back and watch the fetal attraction streams. Yeah, pregnant from blowies. The sex education uh, is failing the kids. <laughs> it's failing the kids these days. But it, it turns out that Laura Owens has done this to other people. She's done this to other men, claiming pregnancies, and then the pregnancy is suddenly gone, And but she's dragged them through court. Well, she dragged former bachelor Clayton Eckerd through court. but. I think she flew a little close to the sun because Clayton Eckert has some fans and people like Dave Neal to stand behind him and say, no, 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 you need to show us your evidence. And nobody thinks she's actually pregnant. And it, it even includes fake moon bumps, Alex. I mean, yeah, Alex, the That's TLDR wild. is bitch be crazy, way crazy. Oh, speaking of moon bumps, you guys, you guys, this is so funny. So I'm, I'm scrolling on Twitter today. Don't get mad at me. We're going to get to the audio. I swear to God. Swol I'm scrolling on Twitter today and look what I see. <laughs> look what I see. It is a Sheen ad. Look at this. Supposedly pregnancy wear. I tweeted out, is this Laura Owens? <laughs> oh my God. For one, no pregnancy. This is exactly what, look, look at this. Look at this. Look what someone drew. <laughs> <laughs> Um, if you still have a waist like this when you're pregnant, go to the doctor. You're not pregnant. You have a tumor. Okay? <laughs> like, this is not correct. You got to make sure that your BBL is visible when you're doing your maternity shoot. <laughs> oh, my God. What does BBL stand for? Brazilian butt lift. Oh, dear Jesus. Well, these are TikTok pants, by the way, which are also on my Amazon shopping list. <laughs> 
They are. These are the exact TikTok leggings that I absolutely love and wore to the gym today when I did my workout. Brad can tell you I did it because he's on my app. I watch, we're on the iWatch sharing thing. How come I never get notifications when you work out or are you just not working out? I don't work out. <laughs> You're supposed to be working out. We're supposed to be, you know, encouraging one another. Well, I've been not receiving any encouragement, so. <laughs> well, I haven't seen you work out at all. <laughs> How am I supposed to encourage you if there are no workouts? So funny story. We um, <laughs> we just get back from vacation and the first rolls around, or actually, no, it would have been yesterday. Um, our gym membership uh, gets charged to my one account that um, we ended up using a bunch of on vacation. So they're like, yeah, so because it got declined and per your user agreement, we're charging you $25 in addition to your regular $42 or whatever it is. Oh, no. And so I had to go throw some money in there and be like, just charge the card again. I don't care. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and then Sam went to uh, go do uh, her an evening workout while I was supposed to be um, dealing with Leon for the evening. And she goes... Um, did we not do a thing? And I was gonna, no, I fixed it. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> did we not do the thing? All right, good. Well, go to the gym so I can encourage you. Okay. All right. Start start working out, Brad. All right, tonight's bingo. I think we have to go over it before we start listening to this the so that we full can bingo board this time. This is a big bingo bingo. Bingo card. Okay, we have a free space. Megan making blowjob jokes. That's a given. So we're going to already, yeah. False pregnancy test. Tonsil twins. I already said tonsil twins. Yes, you awesome. Didn't. Megan has tech problems that hasn't uh, happened yet. yet. <laughs> and Brad is here. So it's probably not going to happen. Squirrel, <laughs> squirrel. We could probably hit squirrel already because I, I talked about lipstick. I talked about all kinds of things. Dave Neal appearance. No. A defamation. Uncomfortable text messages. <laughs> Twins, inappropriate parental involvement, cluster B disorder, cease and desist, deposition, no show. Owen's lawyer gets wrecked. Mention of previous victims, bamboozled court judge, mouth babies, Megan's unhinged cackle, <laughs> hoodwinked law enforcement podcast mention my own personal threat letter which i still haven't received i'm very put out by that serial harassment poorly written legal documents self-serving news articles <laughs> megan snort laughs okay do we want to tease the podcast oh right so i've been learning a lot from dave neal i mean he this man is one of the hardest working men i have seen on youtube and he does this thing. So I joined his Patreon, which I highly recommend, by the way. His Patreon is great. It's so fun. And he gives a lot of back, like, you know, personal information in his new house and his new being a new homeowner. It's a lot of fun. His hot water heater already broke. Poor man. <laughs> He's $1,900 in already. Oh, God. Anyway. And one of the things that he does that I absolutely love is that after his live stream or his stream on uh, YouTube, he shuts it down. He goes Patreon uh, exclusive, and then he records his 25 or 30 minute podcast and uploads it to um, iTunes or whatever, I, Apple Podcasts and Spotify while he's on with his audience while they do inside stuff on his Patreon. I, th I love this model. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. So locals only is going to get to watch me work and figure out a podcast while we do after our daily, uh, I'm going to cut down the daily live streams to be a little bit shorter. So we do locals at meganfox.locals.com exclusive and then record a, a 20 to 30 minute podcast and then go on from there. I think it's a great idea. Brad's going to help me, I think. <laughs> right? Right, Brad? Well, I'm already in this far. <laughs> We discussed this today. I was like, I'm trying to make more money, Brad, so I can hire you. What did you say? Oh, I said, uh, I'm going to need you to get to Nick Arcata's size of audience before uh, she can afford me. <laughs> so, so in other words, so he's doing it for free until then. <laughs> Brad, you're something. You're something. Oh, I'm something, all right. 
<laughs> I need more I of these beers. <laughs> I know. Get another beer. All right. Without further ado, we're getting over to the audio because I promise we're going to do it. All right. And if you haven't hit the like button, please do it now and subscribe because I hit 30,000 uh, followers on Twitter and I feel like we could hit 30,000 on YouTube too. All right. The first audio is Laura Owens calling Scottsdale police about somebody breaking their uh, cease and desist or harassment order or some bullshit that she had. Let's let's hear. Scottsdale police. Hi, um, I was wondering if I could report a violation of a of an order of protection. It's not an emergency. Okay. At what location? Okay. My first thought is. And Dave said this, and it, it's so true, though. Like, I had this thought when I heard it, too, and he cracked me up. He's like, is she ordering takeout? <laughs> How perky can you be calling the police? Like, I'm hey. fearful for my life. But, oh, my gosh, can, can you guys, like, come send someone right now? <laughs> Super happy about it. Hi, um, could I order some um, beef chow mein? And, like, what the hell is happening here? What? What is it? Hi. Um. Could you tell me where do I go? Um. To order some. Well, I need like an Uber driver to come pick me up. Like, wh what are we doing here? But it gets weirder. And we well, yeah. I'll have a number two and a number seven and a side of <laughs> a side of brutality with that. <laughs> Can you tell me what your specials are today? <laughs> and make it gluten free. Yeah. Right. Um, it's actually been an online, uh, like an online harassment thing. And what's your address here? An online? It's actually, they're like, oh, oh, you're, you're reporting harassment. Okay, where? Well, it's actually an online thing. So, <laughs> talking about online things, have you seen Ramsey's Kitchen Nightmares? Yes! I love so, that show! So, there's one episode that they did back in, I want to say, 2015. And it's surprisingly enough, it's in Scottsdale, Arizona. And it was called Amy's Baking Company. Oh, I saw it. Yeah. I saw that. So, anyone talking about Reddit or whatnot, I instantly think of Crazy Amy talking about the Yelpers and the bloggers. Yep. Oh. Yep. Exactly. Like, I'm sorry, people, but this is a hard lesson to learn. Like, you need to learn this lesson if you don't already know it. But free speech is a thing in this country. It's written into our Constitution. And the Internet is free speech. And Reddit is free speech. And, like, you can't call someone and saying, say, I'm being abused and harassed because they're talking about shit I did in public on a Reddit page. Oh, good Lord. But this one actually isn't the Reddit one, I don't think. That's the next one. This this one is about Greg. Oh. Uh, redact the uh, address. This is what they do when they redact the address. Um, and I had talked to Officer, uh, is it Vince Johnson? I think I have the right name. Um, I've been talking to him before um, and wondered if I could possibly talk to him. Okay. Um, what is the other person's name with the order of protection? Yeah, it's Greg Gillespie. Ooh, we get to mark off, um, mentions of previous victims. Yes. Okay, I got that on the bingo card. I'm keeping track. Don't worry. Okay, and can you spell the last name for me? Oh, yeah. G-I-L-L-E-S. E -I -E. Oh, and by the way, I'm also checking off hoodwinked law enforcement because she mentioned that she spoke to an officer, Vince Johnson, who helped her in the past. Mm hmm. He seems yeah, to we know what that... to personality figures of those who have helped her in the past. <laughs> right. Those who have helped. Well, this is again, this is her pattern in practice of weaponizing police against her perceived enemies. And so she has this relationship with Officer Vince Johnson, or at least she did, where he had done something for her that she liked in the past with Greg Gillespie and or about Greg Gillespie. 
And it just goes to show that like that she is using, this is a pattern in practice with her. She finds an officer who will listen to her and who believes her. And then she weaponizes him against that person that she's going after. It's really quite sick. And so she's telling, I like how she tells the, the operator, oh, I, I would like to speak to Vince Johnson, not just any, not just any officer, but Vince, because Vince is the one who I already manipulated. You know? Like calling the front desk of a uh, company and asking for someone, but you're calling 911 hoping to get a particular officer that may or may not be on duty. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. All right. Listen, if you want the dog food recipe, Melanie, just get on to meganfox.locals.com. I'm going to be doing, and it's only five bucks a month, and uh, that's less than one venti latte at starbucks for real <laughs> unless you're on a cruise ship it's there's seven dollars a venti latte i can't even believe it i can't even believe what joe biden's economy is doing here i really can't that's what she said you know i can't deal with this i'm going to nuke america i'm going to nuke america the the, the economy is out of control so for less than a starbucks latte you can get over to meganfox.locals.com and you will watch me make dog food that would char that you would pay way more for just by getting stuff at the grocery store and doing some work. And my dog loves it. I've been giving it to him for a couple weeks now. It's the same thing as the farmer's diet. You just make it yourself and you don't pay for people to deliver it to your door. And I learned how to do it on YouTube and it's really great. Uh, that's coming soon. I'm, I'm editing the video. All right, here we go. Let's continue. Okay. And what's his date of birth? Um, man, I have to double check that. Uh, <laughs> this was the love um, of your life, the love of your life, and you don't know his birthday, his date of birth. Really? Like, this is another guy she claims she dated. Doesn't know his date of birth, though. And, and by the way, Greg Gillespie says they also were a, a fling. They weren't dating. He was not an ex-boyfriend. He was just a fling. So... Again, <laughs> an FWB, if you were. What's an FWB? Friends with benefits. Oh, friends with benefits. Right. Jingleberry wants to know Has everyone been marked safe from fellatio pregnancy? Uh, please type an S in the chat if you've been marked safe from fellatio pregnancy. S for safe in the chat, folks. We do want to know we care about your safety here. Uh, <laughs> S for safe from fellatio babies. Right. Let me see if I can get what it is. Would that be on? I guess it would be on the order, wouldn't it? Yes. Okay. Sorry, I don't have the. Can you just do it anyway? Debbie Joe, it's so true. Seven bucks for a latte. Like, are they crazy? Should be crazy right now. Crazy. I'm so sorry. One second, and I know where I have a seat. I, just, uh, I, I was kidding. <laughs> God damn it. She has no idea. She's like, I'm sorry. I can't find it. I don't know. I know nothing about this man. Alex wants to know, is she hot? Everyone, please explain to Alex your opinion. She's hot enough. She's hot enough that, you know, a bunch of guys stuck, you know, wanted to stick their dick in it, like, I guess, or near it, near it, I guess. She's passing. She's, she's skinny. She's skinny. Skinny sure covers that? a lot of flaws. She's in shape. <laughs> Alex says I need images. All right, Alex, um, where can I send her? Oh, Alex, go to www.lauramichelleowens.com. Okay. okay. And what's your last name? Owens, O W E N S. Okay. First name? Laura, L A U R A. Okay. And what's your date of birth? Okay. And what's a good callback number for you? Beep.
Okay, I'm going to put this call in and have an officer give you a call. Um, and then you said you wanted me Perfect. to transfer you to um, to an officer as well. Um, well, just if you could, if you could um, see if it could be Officer Johnson that could call me because he had helped me with something with uh, Greg last okay. Saturday. All right, I'll let him know. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye. Okay, bye. I'm so happy right, now. So now we know that she did something, whatever the date this was, she talked to Officer Johnson the previous Saturday about Greg as well. All right, the chat is asking about my locals promo codes. I have a new one. It's Tonsil Twins, all caps. Tonsil Twins will get you two free months when you sign up for a year. That's a deal. Sign up for the year. You're going to get two full free months when you sign up using promo code Tonsil Twins. If you want just the monthly, that's okay too. Use promo code MAYA, M-A-Y-A, all caps. That was from the Kowalski trial we were covering. And that will give you one free month when you sign up monthly. It's only five bucks a month, folks. It's a deal. It's a steal. It's a steal. Of all the shit we pay for, honestly, you will love this. We do we do cooking streams. We do all kinds of stuff. We watch YouTube together, listen, listen to podcasts together. We have members only live chats every day. I'm in there with you every day. So if you need to get a hold of me, that's the place to do it because I'm there every day, aren't I, Brad? Yep. And what is it? Trashy Tuesdays or whatever? <laughs> Trashy Tuesdays. No, that's Wine Mom Wednesdays. Oh, okay. <laughs> but Trashy Tuesday sounds fun. Why are we doing that? <laughs> I thought you were. That's <laughs> we were watching the um the Mary or when is it? Oh Married yeah, at Sight Married at First Sight. I love that show. Sometimes we watch Married at First Sight. Um, it's so fun. Criminal Med Locals is meganfox.locals.com. You got to go there, sign up, download the app on your phone, and it's a whole lot of freaking fun. It's so fun. Um, McCray says all YouTube members should cancel and sign up on Locals. Well, not necessarily, because a lot of local streams that are members only, I also mirror on YouTube. So if you're more familiar with YouTube, I will mirror them. Like I will put up the dog food thing on a YouTube membership as well. So it, I'll make it a members only video on YouTube. So subscribe to YouTube for notifications, trial streams and whatnot, but also be on locals so that you can get exclusive content. Right. But I also think there's more stuff on locals. So if you're thinking like, should I do locals or YouTube membership versus locals? I say definitely always go with locals because YouTube is asshole. Um, and yeah, everybody loves Married at First Sight. It's a crazy shit show and we love it. All right. Now the next phone call, I want to caution you all. I want to caution you all right now. Some of you may be implicated in this phone call. <laughs> No, I want to caution you because Laura does this thing where she weaponizes her emotions, right? Now, I have no doubt, just like Dave Neal, I have... Oh, and by the way, I forgot to say this, and I meant to. These audios came from The Flock. And The Flock, by the way, uh, they are a private group. I don't know where they are, and I don't know who they are. But they desperately, desperately want the credit for these things, for sending a FOIA request that anybody could do. And so I will give them the credit that they did send a FOIA request that anyone could do. And if Laura Owens has a problem with these audios being out there, she should definitely take it up with the flock for whom, uh, you know, for who is, they, they're the ones who did this. <laughs> so the only reason why I have these is because of the flock. And, um, they also love to put watermarks on all their documents that they get from FOIA, which is really weird because they're public documents and you really shouldn't do that, but whatever. And the flock hates me, by the way, but I'm willing to give them the credit where credit is due. They submitted a FOIA. They, they sent an email. They might have paid five bucks and they got these, um, these audios. So good for them. Good for you, flock. And just in case Laura Owens wants to know who to go after for these audios, it's definitely the flock because they wanted the credit for all of this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's definitely the flock. Um, uh, good for you, flock. We're, we're, uh, this is your pat on the head that you desperately need. 
Um, <laughs> Alex just discovered the TED Talk. <laughs> yep. And Damn that's, it. That's where the first accusations uh, come from. Yeah, that was victim number... Well, we're calling him victim number one, but there is now victim number zero. And according to Dave Neal, there's victim uh, number 1.5. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. There's more. There are more men who have come forward. Uh, it is crazy. Alex, if you have not read my article, uh, by the way, those of you who want to catch up on this, let Lickety me. Lickety click. Lickety click. I got to put the article in the chat because I have given all the information in this article. You will not find another article anywhere with all the information that I have in this one uh, other than here. Alex, you're not even in the rabbit hole. You're just getting started. Alex, you're just getting started, honey. You are you are just getting started. This story is so crazy. And it in includes all the things we love, like trash TV, like Bachelor, and fake paternity scandals. And, oh, God, it's so fantastic. It's like an um, episode of Bachelor, but some poor guy has to actually deal with the legal <laughs> ramifications of being <laughs> some, some crazy guy. lady saying... Uh, that she's having his twins and he's like no bitch go away <laughs> tonsil twins and this has been going on since june and by the way alex you don't know this but she is all like a like a couple weeks ago filed a petition in court that said never mind i'm no longer pregnant <laughs> that's At, not what, the way this works weeks or what? 20 after yeah after 24 after 24 weeks so she was probably around 26 supposedly 26 weeks pregnant with twins, suddenly no longer pregnant, no fetal death certificates, no explanation, no doctor's reports. Holy crap. Uh, McCray, what is your hair going to look like when you take it down? Curly or do you have to wash and start over? Well, I'll tell you what. If we get enough Super Chats to hit $100, I will take it down and answer the question. <laughs> so then you'll, you will you can know. So Super Chats hit, what are we at? We're at like 45 five you know if we hit a hundred bucks i'll take the hair down midstream and you can see what it looks like <laughs> i don't i don't know who this impersonator brad is but it's Ted triple x talks next who is this impersonator seriously are we doing hair right now there's never a bad time to do hair Rafe. there's never a bad time to talk about my hair i will talk about my hair literally all the time anytime well, if I the didn't chat see a super chat up. from you, so mm -hmm. median income is surprisingly low at the moment. It's very low. <laughs> this, this is, what are we, we've been on here for 48 minutes. 48 minutes, well, $45 in 48 minutes, that's a dollar a minute. That's not that bad. That's like what those masseuses at the mall numbers. get paid. That's what those masseuses at the mall get paid. You know the ones where you can go and pay them by the minute to rub your shoulders? They... <laughs> <laughs> that that's not bad I, I get the half hour or an hour discount so i just <laughs> chaffy says chaffy says no hair talk well maybe you need to send super chats to make it stop i don't know i mean <laughs> alex shut up <laughs> you don't know how much i love my cousin oh my god I love her so much she's so awesome Oh, you know, there are only a few people in the world who know your grandma the way that you did, you know, like who had that bond and she's one of them. And we loved her so much. My grand shout out. Cheers to grandma Vicky, Alex. Cheers. Cheers to grandma Vicky because she was the bomb. Nobody will ever top her. Oh, damn. Oh, McCray. <laughs> So sorry, I want to see the hair unbind it. Well, dang, now I have to take my flower out and everything. Well, all right. I think we can go to the bingo card and mark off squirrel because I think we sufficiently squirreled <laughs> long enough. Did I mark off squirrel already? I think I already did. I did. So this is like the second squirrel. Oh. All right, so we're going to have straight on top and wavy on the bottom because it's still wet. And I'm it's seeing curls wet. a little bit on the bottom. It, yeah, just on the bottom. See, because I had this part slicked back with gel and it dried, so it dried straight. But this part underneath is still wet. <laughs> so we got cur we got the the waves. There we go. All right, it's a little weird. 
It's weird. It's not at all that great. All right, here, wait. Maza, down. <laughs> Deflowered. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, here. We'll put the flower back in because I like the flower. Here we go. All right. Oh, no. All right. Is this strip poker or strip bingo? <laughs> It's I guess it's 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 hair bingo. I mean, I'll do my hair anyway. You guys want to see it? I mean, it's just you know that's just hair. <laughs> Tea flowered is hilarious. It is. It's true. Uh, Alex, wouldn't Grandma Vicky have thought this was hilarious? I mean, you know she would have. You know she would have. All right, where are we going? We're going to the second the second audio. All right, so I was warning you that the second audio is manipulative. Now, I don't doubt for one second that Laura is upset, but don't let the tears sway you. The tears, uh, and I have things to say about it, so we'll talk about it as we go. Here we go. That's up, please. How can I help you? Hi, I was wondering if it's possible to file um, a complaint in regards to cyberbullying. Uh, we can have an officer give you a call. Hi, I'd like to... <laughs> Jeez. Uh, 12 I'm, seconds in. Uh, <laughs> people are cyberbullying me. Can you help, please? Hi, people on the internet are mean. Hello, police. Try okay. turning off your phone, ma'am. Go away from the computer. <laughs> Go touch some grass. Have you considered not looking at the computers, ma'am? Um, I, I Speaking of that, I need to show you guys. If you, if you, didn't, if you didn't see today's thumbnail... I feel as if you really need to, because I feel like this is the best thumbnail of my life. And I laughed so hard when I did this. Notice what she's saying here. Police, I need to report the consequences of my actions. <laughs> That's what all this is about. Mm -hmm. The consequences of her own damn actions. I love this thumbnail. I'm I'm going to put this in a frame somewhere because it's my favorite thing ever. I swear. All right. Let's go back over to this. Here we go. Uh, what's your address? Uh, my address is... Beep. Now, this goes on forever. She either has the longest address I've ever heard of. She's saying other things that they redacted properly. I don't know, but Please like... confirming. Is that correct? That was a yeah, lot. Okay. Yeah, that was a lot. That shorter. was a lot shorter. So, like, what's missing? What are we missing? Did she, she not? It could be an address that. Um, so this is just my take. If it's like a Native American. Um, no, I know address, her address. No, I know her address. It's not long. But but she may be spelling it phonetically in order to. No, it's the it's a number like a like a like a. I don't want to say a number just in case I say the right one. But like if I were to say uh, like a two digit number in 25th street. street or whatever, yeah, 25th or whatever, that's what it is. It's number, number, number 25th, whatever, you know, that's even weirder. Like it's not a long address. There's nothing to spell. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. How in the world? <laughs> Yeetus, fetus, deletus. <laughs> I didn't know we were talking Harry Potter spells, but damn. <laughs> Could be one. All right, I got to check the bingo real quick because I feel like we missed something. Um, <laughs> did we miss anything? Cease and desist. That's probably there with a, a phone call about reporting cyberbullying. Oh, that was the first one. Yeah, we get to hit that. Okay. Uh, Owen. Oh. Um, phrasing. Okay. <laughs> Mouth babies, bamboozled. Serial harassment. I think that's... Yeah, no. Well, not quite. Okay. All right. Let's get back over here. And um, are you the one being bullied or? <laughs> uh, yeah. Your family? Yeah. Okay. Wait. When she said that. I want to report cyberbullying. Are you the one being bullied? Uh, or are you doing yeah. it? <laughs> no. No, I'm cyberbullying someone else. <laughs> Such a weird I'm so proud of my cyberbullying. I am calling the police to tell on myself. <laughs> we need more squirrel boxes. That would help the bingo. <laughs> and more squirrel boxes. 
Oh, oh, the good news is though, my med, I got my meds at a different pharmacy today. So I am no longer unmedicated. You can all breathe a sigh of relief. Okay. All right. Do you know this person? No. Um, I'm not honestly sure. They created an entire subreddit with my name just dedicated to like harassing me. With it, they, they they created an entire subreddit with my name that is dedicated to harassing me. Is it though, mm. Laura? Is it dedicated to harassing you, or is it dedicated to stopping you from harassing others? Or you say, I'm looking on Reddit right now, and there's nothing directly for no, her. No, because Reddit took it down. Oh. Reddit took it down. So the subreddit that is not, I believe, if I'm wrong, somebody can correct me if someone from their subreddit is here. Uh, but I believe the first subreddit that was started was in her name. And then that got taken down by Reddit because she complained a bazillion times. And then they did another one called Justice for Clayton that had nothing to do with her name. And they 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 redact her name from everything so that they don't get taken down. But it, they're in constant fear of getting taken down. Right. Yeah, so there was a slash R lower Owens. Right. And and that doesn't exist anymore because she successfully, when she discovered she couldn't do anything with the police, <clears throat> she went to Reddit and there's a bunch of woke retards over there that will just do whatever you want. Without, you know. Laura Owens, the checking. subreddit, snark, links, side eyes, and discussion about Bachelor Nation's most unhinged Ooh, some thought yet. <laughs> look at what Brad found. And so is it, is, if you click on it, is it gone? Yeah, it's gone. Yeah. Um, Can you find a way back of it, I wonder? Maybe. Hmm. Okay. Jason is confirming, yes, it was in her name, and then it was recreated as Justice for Clayton. So, and it's because she, you know, got it taken down by crying and whining to Reddit about people talking about her on the internet. But Laura, honey, when you do things in public to a public figure, and the public has an opinion about that, this is America. This is not Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Holy crap. Sorry. You need a sneeze button. I, I I was reaching for my mute and I didn't reach it fast enough. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. You got it right there at the end. <laughs> the loudest part got muted. But no, this is not, this is America. You don't get to say that like people can't talk about you. Just absolutely not. You don't get to say that. Um. All right, somebody in the chat, Agniv, says, I still don't understand why her parents haven't stepped in. Her parents appear to be enabling her at every step of the funding way. It. They're funding her. They have to be funding her. She doesn't really have a job that I know of other than that podcast with her mother that nobody listens to. Um, <laughs> Brad is clearly allergic to the BS. <laughs> Quite literally. <laughs> <laughs> dumpster jesus blesses you all right wonderful dumpster jesus is on board thank god tomorrow might be the first time we go back to church and for like a month and a half really yeah because we i'm we, going back i'm going we, tomorrow we stopped going because my wife has been sick so often in the months oh, leading up to thing. our cruise that we said, you know what, we're just going to go virtual for a little bit. And <laughs> right. Stay because home. The last thing we need is to go to church. And because we've, we've done that where we've gone to church and then Tuesday we start coming down with something. I have a, I have a trick for this. I don't know if it'll work in your church, but in most Catholic churches, it works. Hmm. So you sit way in the back where no one sits. Most people sit in the front or towards the front because they want to either get the communion from the priest and not a Eucharistic minister or because they want to hear better or whatever. But if you sit way in the back, uh, mostly you can get empty pews around you. <laughs> so that's usually what I do. Like I did that when I went to the Christmas concert uh, for, the ch for my son 
that was in the church, the Christmas concert, I was very concerned because every single time we go to the Christmas concert for school, mm. we all get sick for Christmas. Right. So I left everyone at home. I was the only one who went and I sat way in the back away from everyone. And sure as shit, there was coughing all over that building. I was like, you know what, people? Look, let me just say it now since I'm out here publicly. Stay home if you are coughing. Don't go into public when you're coughing. It's just rude. Dang. Yeah. So I go to a, or I should say we go to a um, non-denominational church, and it's almost basically in the middle of nowhere. So if there's 200 seats in this church, I would be surprised. But everyone likes to sit in the middle and back. Nobody wants to be in the front. Oh, well, okay. Well, then you have to go sit in the front then. Yeah. That's what you have to do. <laughs> you have to sit in the front. Well, see, in, in our church, a Catholic church, it's really important for the kids to sit in the front because that's where the, all the action is happening and that keeps them more involved because we don't have Sunday school. You yeah. guys have Sunday school. You have like kids programs. We don't have that. We have kids, kids daycare so that we can get yeah. hours of respite. <laughs> right. You guys have that. We don't, we all celebrate together as a family with children. So the ki families with kids normally sit up front so that the kids have something to look at and like watch the priests walk around and do all the things and, you know, the incense and the, you know, it's more interesting. If you're in the back, it's harder for the kids to see. So right. we're the opposite. We go to the front. Um, but when it's flu season, <laughs> dude, I'm in the back. All right. Um, somebody fill in Kiernoth in the chat. I can't give him the TLDR right now. I'm sorry. So somebody created a subreddit. Is that what you're? <laughs> yeah, with my with my name as the title of the group. Wait, wait, wait. Go, go back to the very beginning. She goes from <laughs> super happy to bawling her eyes out in less than a minute and a half. Okay, and that should also remind us of Amber Heard, by the way, who could turn on and off the emotions like nothing. Let's hear that again. That's up, please. How can I help you? Hi, I was wondering if it's possible to file um right. a she, complaint she, in order to She goes to from order voice to crying <gasps> in no second flat. Let's go. I want to hear that again. That's up, please. How can I help you? Hi, I was wondering if it's possible <laughs> to file um, a complaint in regard to cyberbullying. Uh, we can have an officer give you a call. Uh, what's your address? Uh, my address is... Yeah, we got to see Yeah, that's correct. Okay. And um, are you the one being bullied or is it a person uh, yeah. in your family? Yeah. Okay. Do you know this person? Um, I'm not honestly sure they created an entire subreddit with my name just dedicated to, like, harassing me. I'm sorry, so somebody created a subreddit? Is that what you're... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the moment that the, that the police on the other end of the line was like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I just so had to like... work this shift to get some of the... <laughs> To deal with this thankfully Wait, it was it only two worse. and a half minutes it gets worse here comes the worst with my with my name as the title of the group and it's just all dedicated to harassing me and um i'm in a, I'm in a paternity scandal right now with um the, with the guy who was the bachelor oh, oh let's think about this i'm in a paternity scandal right now the man who was the bachelor i'm in a paternity scandal what an interesting choice of words brad yeah. not paternity fight but custody battle a or, scandal or... a scandal i'm in a paternity scandal who says that about themselves <laughs> It's always a scandal when it's someone else. It's never a <laughs> paternity fight or or something. Why would well, she... Dave pointed out that that's the the language he's been using. So she's been watching the media and is now repeating what the media is saying about her. So it's it's like does she think she's a character in Dallas? 
I, I know I'm I'm aging myself right now. Half of you have no idea what Dallas is. I don't. Uh, Falcon's Crest. Oh. <laughs> what what can I? Nine oh two one oh. Are you close, in, but no. Close, still not. Uh, is there any kind of drama like that these days? Like soap operas aren't a thing anymore. But it's like she. They still exist, but I don't think anyone actually watches them. <laughs> Dallas was the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, old people in the chat for understanding what I am saying, what I'm trying to say. Oh, is Euphoria the new thing? Is that the new uh, Melrose Place? Melrose Place. Yeah, Knott's Landing. That was a good one, too. I loved. Oh, Dynasty. Yes. My mom had uh, Law and Order SVU episodes on rerun on USA Network on all the time. Okay, DK Cripple, you are my people. <laughs> I know all your references. Well, thank God. Yeah, because I can't, I don't know what the generations are doing now. I just don't know. I don't Isn't care. Isn't Dynasty the one about the country music stars? No. Do you not know? Brad's younger than us, folks, by like a decade. Um, Brad, Dynasty was about a Texas oil family. You. Don't know, but I'm you need not. to know. 2017 to 2022, so it was apparently really recent. Wasn't Dynasty the one uh, with Jr? Wasn't that? Wasn't Dynasty Jr? That was yeah. When Josh Jr. Schwartz, got shot, Stephanie Savage. When Jr. got shot, it was like it was like a huge deal. I mean, everyone in the whole country was up in arms. They shot Jr. Thank you, Rogue Mama. Yes. Dynasty was about, it was a nighttime soap opera about a Texas oil family with all kinds of sex and murder and, oh God, we loved it so much. Welcome, welcome legally live to the YouTube membership. Welcome to the Fox Dun, Fox Den, Dun, what did oh, I say? That might be why. I was watching Game of Thrones while this was on, so I was oh getting enough God. sex and drama from that. Oh, JR is Dallas. You're right. I said Dynasty, but it was, but isn't Dynasty like basically the same story with, with, uh, hold on. Because I watched both of them. Let's see. Hold on. And we have to take a squirrel for a moment because I have to re re refresh my memory. Dynasty is an American drama tele television series reboot based on the 1980s primetime soap opera of the same name. No, I want to know the original one. Duh. The original one, not There's the reboot. Original? Oh. No, no. The original is the one I'm talking about in the 80s. Oh, All right. okay. It was, by it was produced by Aaron Spelling. It revolved around the Carringtons, yes, a wealthy family residing in Denver, Colorado, uh, stars John Forsythe. I knew it was about oil magnets. John Forsythe was an oil magnet, Blake Carrington, and Linda Evans was his new wife, Crystal, and later Joan Collins was also in this with his former wife, Alexis. Dynasty was conceived by ABC to compete with CBS's primetime series, Dallas. Ra so they were like competing shows. Ratings for the show's first season were unimpressive, but a revamp for the second season that included Joan Collins saw the ratings enter the top 20. Yeah, it was a good show. Oh, God, Joan Collins was amazing. I mean, she really was. She was such a bitch. She was a fantastic bitch. Oh, Alex, your mother probably watched Dynasty <clears throat> over and over again. I, I guarantee you, your mother knows Dynasty. You probably remember it too. I'm thinking of Nashville. That's Nashville was like a couple of years ago. How old are you? 15? No, I'm not 15. <sighs> But, Brad, you have to have a memory that goes back beyond a few years. <laughs> Nashville was just a couple years ago. Alex, you're so right. Aunt Kiki was Dynasty. You're absolutely right. Oh, Aunt Kiki was the best. Megan, you want me to age you she right is now? The best. I will what? age you to hell right now. I graduated oh, no. high school in 2007. Stop it. I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Oh my God! I can't listen to this anymore. That's How... when I joined the military. Holy Lord! Well, you know you're so young. That's why you know all the things about the tech that I need help with. So thank God. And so it's gotten a lot of media attention, and so a lot of wait. People let's with, back up. Um, the, with the guy who was the bachelor, and so it's gotten a lot of media attention. 
and um, I'm in this, 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 this I'm in a paternity scandal right now with um the with the guy who was the bachelor, and so it's gotten a lot of media attention. Okay, so you admit that you're involved in something. Well, they got a lot of media attention. Who started the media attention? Who started farming <laughs> the story out to the she sun did. and everywhere else? She did. Oh. She did. Laura Owens did. She went to the media. She thought that would be a great idea. <laughs> yeah. A Agnev says, ooh, a scandal of my own making. That is correct. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I have missed out on Super Chats. I haven't even seen them. Unhung Hero says those crusty Claytons are quite potent, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk. Megan Tear says uh, she should do a TED Talk for IVF doctors out there. She's obviously got inside information they don't. Turkey oh, basters yeah. are old. Now it's grinding against crusty jeans. <laughs> <laughs> Spygal92, thanks for the Super Chat, says you're one of the best. Well, I think you're one of the best. Thank you so much for sending a super chat. I appreciate you. Kylie needs a holiday. It says, can I order some victims and a side of pregnancy tests? Positive pregnancy tests. Positive pregnancy tests. Yes. Rogue Mama, is this strip poker or strip bingo? <laughs> you already got that one. Let's talk Megan's hair. What's the hair goo you use? Well, I'm glad you asked. I put it all on my Amazon shopping page where i actually get a cut of it if amazon can figure out how to send me a check which so far they haven't been able to do but i figure we'll figure it out eventually but on my amazon shop which you can find in my linkedin which is linked in the description of all these videos wherever you may be watching you will find all my favorite hair products they are listed on my amazon page it's like amazon.com forward slash Megan Fox store or something. I don't I know. I posted it earlier. Where is oh, it? did you? It's on the link. To, it's on the link tree. Yeah. And legally boom. live. There it is. Oh, boom. There it is. See? Amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash Megan Fox. I just spent all night last night getting it updated with all my favorite hair products and makeup and stuff. So it's all there. Everything that I use. And I'm telling you, this lipstick, I am still amazed by this. I mean, honestly. 6 p.m. I put this on. It is 12 18. All that I, I have not touched it other than to put more aquaphor on top of it. And it, it doesn't leave a damn mark anywhere. Look, watch. Oh, holy crap. This, this stuff is great. It's called Bay Free Lip Tint. It's Korean or some shit. I don't know. Who cares? Whatever it is, it's on Amazon. It's in my store. I love it love it. It doesn't dry out my mouth. It doesn't make any problems. Like I didn't think I was going to like it. I really didn't. And I love it. I can't stop talking about it. I love it. All right. Did I give legally live their welcome to the Fox yes, Den? I don't know. I'm doing it again <laughs> just in case. Yeah. It's almost like a tattoo. I mean, it doesn't come off. I went to sleep last night. I had some on. I woke up in the morning. It was still on. I mean, I look freaking fabulous all the time. I'll take it. Thank you. Thank you. Like yes. Day, you got to strip it every. <laughs> I don't care. I don't need to take it off. Like who cares? I mean, it fades eventually, but man, it's great. I love it. And if you don't particularly love it, like if it's too bright, you can just put a lighter color on top of it. It's fine. See, like I, if I put a lipstick on it, I could change it. So it's great. Kiernoth says, I'm Korean. I had no idea. I have no idea when we made top tier makeup products. Well, according to my children who are experts, my teen daughters, they say that the best stuff comes from Korea. Yeah. You, and I followed, uh, there was a TV drama that I used to watch in the military because we somehow got the Korean broadcast services. Um, so we would watch that in the middle of the night because we had nothing else to do. And there was, it, it was constant. Um, advert because it, because one, it's a Korean drama, so it's primarily targeted towards women, and then it's just nothing but facial ads and any kind of product they can put on there. If you look at the Korean um, makeup industry, it's like multiple billions of dollar industry that props up that tiny little uh, section of um, peninsula. It's so fascinating how 
how much product comes out of there. My yeah, my kid. My so my middle daughter is completely obsessed with Korea, with South Korea. I mean, she just loves everything about it. We are we are filling out the application to be a host family for a Korean student, um, and that's going to be fun. She already wrote her letter, and it's so cute. Like you have to write a letter and like do all the stuff. The application Wait. process is so insane, Brad. Though, like you it's you have to. I write said a I would do it to host. Oh yeah. To That's introduce the student to your family and, oh, okay. you know, what you're like and what you do. And I mean, I understand that totally. I mean, someone is sending their teenager to you. Mm -hmm. They need to know stuff. But I had no idea that the application process was going to be so intense. And I have to upload photographs of my house. And like, it, it's just like, it's taking me forever. And I feel bad because the woman who wants me to fill it out, she's like, you told me you would do this in a week. I'm like, oh, ma'am, you haven't met me. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to get this done in a week. I'm still working on it. Okay. It, we have until August, right? So, or at least until June. Um, okay. Before we moved, I was um, really hot on the possibility. This was even before our son was in the picture. I was like, we should host a Japanese student so that we could have them teach us Japanese. Yeah, well, my daughter is learning Korean. She's been learning Korean. She watches nothing but Korean dramas, and she's super into K-pop and stuff like that. And like, she's learning Korean. Like, she's learning how to speak it. She uses like the app or whatever. So I think it would be great for her because um, she would have someone to you know talk to, try and practice her Korean on, which would be great. And I, I would love that. There's a guy I know that does language teaching um, called George Trombley. And he has mm -hmm. a, a series of books, um, and he has one for Korean called Korean from Zero. Mm -hmm. uh, I should um, point her towards that. It's only oh, like yeah. $27. Send me the link. Send me the link. Absolutely. Sarah, welcome to the uh, Fox Den. That's the sound of a screaming fox, by the way. I heard one the other night, so we got out of the car. <laughs> we, we pulled up out of nowhere. I don't know where we were coming from. I don't remember. Get out of the car. And... um that sound is happening except <laughs> except scarier scarier and and i'm like holy shit it's a fox it's a fox and i'm telling hangry fox listen listen he's like yeah so what it is disturbing i don't, my kids are used to it they grew up in the country now so they're they're used to it today i walked outside my back door and somebody was shooting something and there were gunshots going off and that still jars me but it's funny my kids will grow up thinking that's normal but i grew up in chicago and yes you hear gunshots in chicago but usually only on the fourth of july and holidays like you don't hear gunshots generally like on a saturday i mean unless you're on the south side but but or on the dan ryan but i mean it's just weird to like walk out your back door and hear boom 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 you know we had farmers that would have controlled detonations of um, like small bits of um, dynamite or M80s to keep Tannerite. things out of their feet. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is. And Alex, you're going to love this. There are two nesting bald eagles near my house. The sound of freedom is eagle screaming. And oh, I hear gosh. that all the time and it's amazing when i hear it i would i i recorded it on locals one time i was like do you hear it it's the sound of freedom it's so awesome <laughs> and i see them like soaring over the lake it's so cool i don't know where they are i don't know where their nest is but they come and they fish at the lake that's down the mountain did you see and the video I... of the bald eagle carrying a deer oh my god yes isn't that, that crazy terrifying all right, chat's getting pissed. They're like, focus, focus. All right, so a lot of people have already joined. A lot of people have already joined. <laughs> oh, no. Stop the people from joining the Reddit sub. Stop them. When you say you're being harassed, is it with this, with just the subreddit or people calling you or coming by your house? I love this question. Nope. <laughs> when you say that you're being harassed... Do you mean people are coming by your house? Are they throwing shit at your house? Are they, you know, harassing, calling you on the phone? Like, is this actual harassment? Mm. You're screaming mean things on the internet. <laughs> um, like with the subreddit. Okay. So yeah. it's just, 
It's just the subreddit. So literally no one is bothering you at all. It's just people talking on Reddit. Wow. And you said that you know the person that created the subreddit? Um, I'm honestly not sure. I have I have my theories. I had to get an order of protection against this guy yesterday, and I think he may be the one yesterday. that created it. I had to get an order of protection. I don't actually know who she's talking about here because I don't know what date this was done. Uh, let's look at the name of the of Can you the file. FOIA orders of protection? Yeah, we we have all the orders of protection. But I'm, what is this? Does this file name look like a date to you? It says E23-1026. That's probably oh. October 26, 2023, if I had to guess. Okay, so if this was in 2023... October. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense, actually, because that's probably when the Reddit was formed. Because she started this shit with Clayton in June, I want to say, of 23. So by October, that would make sense. Um, I know the, the Justice for Clayton has been posting her Reddit activities from uh, the start of October. So Okay. So, yeah. That's that's got to be it. All right, let's back up a little bit and hear that again. Order protection against this guy yesterday, and I think he may be the one who created it. So she's saying maybe he's the one who created it. Clayton did did not create the subreddit. No, he way. wants you to go away. The last thing he wants to do is to miser make you miserable by posting things about you on Reddit all day. Uh, the Dude's truth trying is to... that I think Clayton was like. Um, yeah, like he's embarrassed as all hell, and he thinks everybody hates him. <clears throat> the, the, him starting a subreddit would be the last thing he would do. Yeah, I doubt he's even there. Yeah, right. <clears throat> I mean, because the last thing he wants to do is think about this shit show that has become his life since May. Being the Bachelor and then some. Yeah. Oh, God. Poor thing. So she's now saying, I think he did it. But he's probably the one who did. Okay. What was your name? Uh, my name is Laura, L-A-U-R-A, Owens, O-W-E-N-S. How does she manage to cry and have vocal fry at the same time? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm trying to listen <laughs> intuitively and it's not... Uh... The vocal fry in the crying is making me <laughs> LOL. And your phone number? Oh, more redaction. Beep. Although her phone number is literally listed on her website. <laughs> okay. We'll have an officer give you a call, okay? And uh, they can discuss okay. it with you. Don't right. call her. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Well, there, it's gone. Okay, it's all of her sad... <laughs> oh, someone's going to call me? Oh my god, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> no, they can discuss okay. it with you. All right. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye. <gasps> You're so right. She goes directly from crying and like miserable to happy. Listen. Okay. We'll have an officer give you a call, okay? And uh, they can discuss okay. it with you. All right. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye. Holy shit. Let's go back to where she was just crying. The one who did. Okay. What was your name? Uh, my name is Laura, L-A-U-R-A, Owens, O-W-E-N-S. And your phone number? Okay. We'll have an officer give you a call, okay? And uh, they can discuss okay. it with you. All right. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome, bye. Oh, my <laughs> okay, <Lord>. bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right. So somebody sent me a, um, an old interview of hers that she was on a podcast and it's on YouTube. You can find it. And it's, um, it's, it's interesting and it's kind of sad because she talks about like her mental health and that it's not good. 
And she talks about having depression and being on all this medication. But one of the things that she did say that stood out to me, I was, I was actually listening to this while I was working out at the gym. I'm, I'm so weird. Why don't I listen to music? <laughs> Instead, I was listening to a Laura Owens listen podcast. to things that infuriate you because that gets your heart rate going and then you want to, you know, burn more calories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm listening to this and she admits that she has this depression. And then she says, there's a part of me that thinks it's, dep it's a medication resistant depression because she's tried all this medication or whatever. Mm. So that's pretty interesting and sad. And like, I'm sorry that like that's happening to you, but that doesn't give you the right to destroy the lives of men who cross your path. I'm, I'm not a, uh, a medical professional and everyone should um, go speak to someone if they're feeling suicidal or whatnot. But I have never in my life in speaking to counselors myself heard of medication resistant depression because well, god knows the, i think that's a thing i mean it, i think i feel like i've heard that phrase before let's look it up let's see what we find there's medication resistant bacteria like <laughs> it actually came up as an autofill when i put medication resistant it came up immediately as depression what is treatment resistant depression? If a person with major depressive disorder has not responded to at least two types of medication, they have treatment resistant depression. This means they have not experienced adequate relief from their symptoms after trying two different treatment methods. Although it can be difficult to manage, doctors have a variety of interventions to treat it. One choice involves changing from first line medication to an older depressant drug or antidepressant drug. Um, or they can add a non-antidepressant drug to a person's medication regime or regimen. Uh, also recommend psychotherapy, brain stimulation, or new drugs. And in this interview, she talks about um, how oh, she ketamine. goes to psychotherapy. Yeah, ketamine. <laughs> she talks about how she goes to psychotherapy and how she feels like there's a I don't know, a stigma on it and how she wants to think she's not like those, the, like the other patients. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's just like, just Laura, whatever you're doing, it's not working. Get You need more therapy because it, you're not being honest with yourself or your therapist, probably. Like, do you think she's being honest with her therapist about tricking men into believing she's pregnant with their kids if that's what's happening here well if you think about her <sighs> she's someone who really wants the limelight on her and if you're going to be talking about depression getting clumped in with the quote-unquote masses with general depression that's fixed with an ssri is not going to sell a story so yeah. saying that you have medication or treatment resistant depression now says i am so special because i have this medication or this treatment resistant form of depression that um i really need extra services and whatnot and what that means in coded languages i need you to feel extra sorry for me and you know if you can throw some money my way mm. yeah, that's also possible all right, we have more documents that we have not read. Should we read them? Because I actually didn't know when I was going to get to it, but might as well no time like the present, right? Let's see. Might have to get my third beer. Yeah, I think you're going to have to. I have the whole bottle here with me, so I'm prepared. Um, there are a lot of motions that we haven't seen. But there was only a couple that I really wanted to uh -oh. look at. Chappie what? says memes. Oh, there's memes Local. and locals. I haven't been looking. Okay, wait. Shoot, I have to refresh. This is not. Uh... Okay. What did I miss? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, hold on. <laughs> Laura Owens weaponizing the police to her. Oh, wait, you can't see that. Harass <laughs> Neptune, the police. This is so true. 
Oh my God. Although it, it appears that it's starting to be less true now. Maybe they've read the, the news reports. I don't know. But this is so funny. Who did this? You guys are so funny. Like, <laughs> in Broward County, by the way, oh, you know what? I better go check my email. So I have the reason I have this email I never check that I had to do the Broward County FOIA through because for whatever reason they couldn't accept proton mail. It was so annoying. And I, <laughs> I love that. I love that meme. <laughs> you know, my, my products, my hair products. <laughs> Someone was asking about the hair jelly. It's sort of right there. <laughs> that Garnier hair jelly, let me tell you, it is the bomb. That's what I use today to slick back my hair. You can use it to slick back your hair. You can use it to scrunch. Your <laughs> Where did you find that? I just was, scrolled up in locals. Is that in the chat right now? Oh my God, I'm dying. Yeah, those assholes at Broward still haven't responded to me again. Oh, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. How did I miss all of these? Oh, my gosh. You guys are so funny. <laughs> oh, my God. Locals is so funny. MeganFox.Locals.com. You're not going to find funnier people anywhere on the planet. I swear to you. I swear. They're the funniest ever. We're like the only people on YouTube that do the memes for these things like this. And I love it. And if I tell them to make a meme, they make it. It's incredible. <laughs> Shout out to Unhung Hero for this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you have uh, locals has or the chat has reminded me that Megan's unhinged cackles need to be <laughs> checked <laughs> off. <laughs> Un unhinged cackle. Okay, great. All right, that one's been checked off. We're not doing so well on the uh, on the bingo tonight, we're, but you, no worries because we're about to get into a new emotion we haven't read before, and this one's freaking hilarious. It is the, wait, where is it? It's the motion for contempt that Laura Owens wrote against Clayton Eckerd. Now, oh, I no. don't, oh, yes. Oh, yes, Brad. We haven't read this yet, and it's freaking ridiculous. So we might as well read it now, because I don't think I'm going to have time to do this on Monday with the crumbly trial. So we might as well do it now. Here we go. Uh, how do I, let's move this over here so I can make it embiggened and biggin. All right, there we go. All right. Laura Owens v. Clayton Eckert motion for contempt. The judge is the one who puts you in contempt, not for. Well, according to Laura, she wants well, I mean, you can file a motion for contempt. You can ask the judge. A judge can't really do anything unless they're asked, unless you do something in front of them that gives them a reason to move. But if you want someone to be held in contempt, you have to ask. Okay. Why are you laughing? Why are you... We, we, we need the phrasing button immediately. What? Uh, what? Phrasing? What did I say? No. Comes now, Laura Owens. She <laughs> absolutely did not. <laughs> <laughs> it was well, Clayton. That's, well, that is that is the language that you you have to use, but still comes now. Um, phrasing <laughs> comes now. Petitioner Laura Owens, who requests that the court schedule civil contempt proceedings against respondent Clayton Eckert in this case, and in support thereof, would show unto the court the following matters and facts. Shit, this is forty three pages. Are you fucking kidding me? On May twentieth. 2023, petitioner and respondent engaged in sexual activity. Bullshit. <laughs> oh. Extra large and extra hard. On June 1st, 2023, That's petitioner. That's not five days later. How many days is it? That's 
the 20th 11, the it should be 11 days it should be 11 days on five days after she said she might be pregnant 11 days later she said she took a test okay that makes more sense what does this mean kim Krause? thank you for the super chat but what does it mean mary hartman mary hartman i don't get it i don't get it what did i miss explain it to me I'm like i'm no, five that's 12 days all right 12 11 days. days would be the 31st all right so i was off a day so sue me all right <laughs> where are we at on may 20th there okay petitioner took a positive pregnancy test at banner urgent care on greenway on 64th street i've literally been there wait i've actually you don't take been there. a positive pregnancy test you take a pregnancy test that that shows positive well that's what they mean. i've actually been to this urgent care on greenway that's and terrifying. 64th you know my parents live in scottsdale oh, okay. so i'm familiar with these places and i had my kids there and every time i take my kids anywhere somebody has to go to urgent care of course. and i'm pretty sure we were there <laughs> same the funny one. thing about covid is like covid like restarted this um because emergency rooms didn't want anyone so they were and if you went to a primary care physician they were like no go to urgent care urgent yeah. care is where you need to go right and now you just go to urgent care instead of your primary which is weird petitioner informed the respondent that she was pregnant bullshit presenting him with evidence from the visit petitioner told responded that she had not been intimate with any other man since march of 2022 and she was positive and the pregnancy was his on june 17th 2023 respondent invited petitioner to his apartment respondent had purchased a pregnancy test and asked petitioner to urinate in front of him to confirm the pregnancy petitioner complied and the pregnancy test was positive well there's the bullshit because he's even said that she didn't take it in front of him she went into the bathroom and right she took it sort of in front of him but not really he said he made sure she didn't have anything on her but that was a big mistake because how is he supposed to know if he has if she has anything on her what did he do a full strip search i don't think so um, you, maybe like i can think of like four different places i could put something right now that no one would know like for one underneath my bra under the under the underwire you could slip something did he search her bra like did you put your hands inside the bra to see what was in there how about in the underwear like in the <laughs> like come on in your how about in her socks <laughs> do you gain weight in the cheeks yeah i don't know this mouth pregnancy okay we get to check off mouth babies it's official we get to check it off the mouth pregnancy thing is a whole new frontier. It's a whole new frontier, folks. We don't know what the symptoms are. We've never seen this before. This is a whole new thing for 2024. Saddle up. Get get ready. Because there's now mouth babies, apparently. <laughs> oh, my God. This was before a lawyer, so she 100% wrote this herself. I'm actually not sure. I don't know who signed no. this yet. I don't know. I'm not at the bottom of this. It's 43 pages, so I don't know. I It's possible, uh, but I don't know yet. So I don't know. Okay. We have to get through this, so I have to read quickly. Respondent message petitioner stating, I wanted you to come over to confirm that I was doubting and you did confirm that. So I don't see you as a liar anymore. On August 1st, petitioner filed a petition to establish paternity. On August 2nd, respondent was served. On August 5th, petitioner told respondent via email that there was an urgent issue regarding their pregnancy with twins that needed to be, oh, twins, we get twins. to yeah. twins that needed to be discussed. The petitioner informed respondent of the requirement to have a good faith consultation. This is to... proper. God damn it. Oh, it is. Did you go down? I, I found it. The justice for Clayton posted this. Um... So she wrote this. Yeah. Okay. Between August 5th and 8th, 2023, respondent did not respond to several more emails and attempts at communication via phone and text message, which led the petitioner to submit a motion to communicate on august 8th 2023 i actually have that too but 
I figured we'd skip that and just go right to the motion for contempt. The respondent's refusal to participate in the good faith consultation is a violation pursuant to whatever rule. On August 18th, petitioner emailed respondent saying that she would file a motion for contempt and attach this in an email to him. Within this message said, there is no order of protection or injunction against harassment between the petitioner and respondent that would serve as a cause for the meeting to take place in a public setting. Stating that he wanted cameras in case either party made a statement that would go on to be challenged at a later date. There was no mention of concern for safety when asked why. Is she kidding? Any man who would meet with her without three witnesses, several cameras, and possibly a police officer is out of his goddamn mind. My wife is trying to sell a Mac Mini and someone, a scammer on Facebook, was like, Hey, I've got a cousin that lives in the same town. Can you take Cash App and then uh, deliver to her? And it's like, no, we're going to take cash and you're going to go to the police station where the cameras are. And... <laughs> oh, man, there was no mention. Oh, were, were the respondent to file one at this point, knowing that his document was to be filed as a way to avoid meeting up? The resp This woman actually put in a petition oh, at court to make a man meet her. She let, let, let me just let's, let's just get past all the legalese. This woman filed a motion in court to make a judge rule that Clayton Eckert had to meet with her in person. Like, is she freaking crazy? Is she out of her damn mind? Is that before or after he already put the um, protection order against her? Oh, this is way before. This is way before. This is way back in the summer. August, he only just got that order against her in November. This was way before that. <laughs> On August 21st, for, 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 the for, wine is working. The wine is working. On August 21st, Respondent filed a response to petition to establish paternity, stating, I am concerned that she is stalking me. <laughs> well, shit, man, I would be too. This was days after petitioner informed respondent. The filing an order of protection or injunction against harassment as a way to avoid meeting up would be at this point would be falsely filing a restraint. What? Yeah. What a that, I, 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 my, my, my mind just fell off a cliff. This is a bad sentence, Laura. Like, next time, run it through Grammarly, because this doesn't make any fucking sense. This was days after Petitioner informed Respondent that filing an order of protection or injunction against harassment as a way to avoid... She's missing, like, 30 commas in this thing in order to yeah, make... I know. <laughs> would be, at this point, would be... We got would be, at this point, would be... No. This... Yeah. No. 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 Get Nick on here. We need Nick to, to, to break this down. Wrong. 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 Okay. <laughs> Would be... I, I, it's, oh, my God. This is so bad. We don't need Nick. I'm a writer, God damn it, Brad. <laughs> Why would we need Nick? Because, oh, because Nick is it was an English major? Well, I fucking write for a living, and I'm telling you, this is fucked up. Would be at this point. Would be falsely. Who wrote this shit? Because, God damn! Because we need the strip mall lawyer to break down need... the stupid thing. <laughs> you are Us laymans can't do this. I can also do this. I can also tell you when the grammar is wrong and this grammar... Yeah, I don't need Nick to mansplain it to me. <laughs> I know that this shit is wrong. To avoid meeting up would be at this point would be... What the f fuck, Laura? <laughs> Get Grammarly. It's not that hard. L use Word. It has spell check. Jesus. God. <sighs> Would be falsely filing a st restraining order. And, you know, Laura. This entire to... thing is retaliatory. What are you talking I know. about? And pure retaliatory in nature. Laura, we are trying desperately to read your filings as entertainment. And your grammar is so bad that it is making it like. Like, I almost want to give up. I want to be like, okay, show's over because this is this shit is terrible. Like, I can't even make, I can't even entertain you with this. This Would shit is terrible. 
We need a Willy Wonka button. You lose! Good day, <laughs> sir! Good day, sir! Good day, sir! I gotta have something in here. Oh, I've got something. You! You <laughs> will pay for what you've done! And I pray that God send angels to visit vengeance upon you! All right, we, we can now check off poorly written legal documents. <laughs> <laughs> poorly written legal documents is coming. Oh, my God, Brad, you're not going to believe this. We're we are from... one X away from bingo. Oh, no. And guess which one it is? Uh, probably the hardest one, I'm sure. Megan has tech problems. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That it's not going to happen because you're here. It's yeah. no way it's going to happen because when you're here, tech pro the tech problems flee. An hour and fifteen minutes from now is when your computer's going to seize up, and we're already going to be. <laughs> we're going to be gone. <laughs> oh God! All right. Uh, are we also could get my own? Well, that one's not. We're not going to get that bingo there. Okay. Owen's lawyer gets wrecked is also one we need for a bingo and deposition no show, which already happened, but we haven't actually mentioned it. So I don't know if I can click it off. Mm. All right. Yeah, I jinxed my Catherine says I just jinxed myself. Well, we'll see if I have if I have tech problems. We'll see. I'm not going to like fake it. We'll see if it happens. All right. Here, we, here we go. We'll, we'll talk about the, the deposition no show. So uh <laughs> two lawyers ago um it was agreed upon that laura was going to be um uh, deposed uh, sometime mid-january and then she lost a lawyer got another one then um clayton's firm was talking to uh laura's new lawyer and it's like hi by the way sorry you're in the shithole that you're already in but by the way there's a de deposition coming up that she needs to attend to and they're like, right. yeah, we're not going to do that. And we're going to put in a motion to um, saying thus. And then I don't even think they filed it when they said they were going to. They, they filed it later than what they needed to. But either way, she didn't show up for a deposition that was well discussed and talked about before. And yeah. However, she did show up for Clayton's deposition yesterday. Oh, she did. I, I hadn't heard she anything did. about that. She was present. She was present and accounted for at her prom. Dave Neal calls it her prom. Oh, wait. Was that... Which the... cracked me up. There was... I saw a document in one of the groups that said that there's going to be a deposition and all parties are required to be there. And if you, if you don't show up, then um, you miss... Being able to file uh, motions or whatnot. Was that? I, I don't know. Did she keep the moon bump? Uh, no, she says as of 20, like six weeks, she was no longer pregnant. So she probably still, you know, she probably has her lithe, skinny figure back. She would still know. have most of the figure, though, because, you know, at 26 weeks, your body has gained mass and whatnot. Oh, she didn't gain anything anywhere. Just, just the alleged that whatever that stuffed thing was she had in front of her. I don't know, Brad. I, I don't know. Allegedly, of course, this is all alleged. Um, but I would love to see her evidence. Seriously, Laura, if you were pregnant with twins, like oh, we'd all give you a big was. apology. You know, we'd all give you a big freaking apology. Were you pregnant with twins? It's very easy to just just prove that. Just give them what they want. Sign the HIPAA release. Let your doctors release the files and everyone will say, we're very sorry that we got it wrong. But that's we don't think you were pregnant. That's the funny thing about the first item the, or the second item in this um, contempt motion was that she said she went to an urgent care for an HCD test. And no, when you're we, having done this whole pregnancy thing beforehand, you go buy an off-the-shelf one first. Well, I think she did that first, because that's the one she sent to Clayton. She she did the, the drugstore one. But according to this motion, the first one that she did, she was at the urgent care. That is weird. And also, the first pregnancy test I took at a doctor was a blood test. So I, I bought the one at the store, I peed on the stick, 
it said I was pregnant, and then I went to the doctor, and they, they didn't have confirmation. Pee. They yeah, don't they have you pee on a stick again. No, they don't have you pee on a stick again. They just take your blood, and then they confirm it. Oh, I mean, they might have had me pee. I don't. They, I don't they might do an really initial remember. on a stick, but. No, it's not the stick. At the doctor, when you go to the doctor, they have you pee in a cup. And then whatever they do with that, I don't know. But then they tell you it's... They, they test the hormone levels to get the actual yeah. number versus just testing the reaction. But they also always order a blood test. Always. Like, you confirm the HCG test with the blood. Mm -hmm. Period. So you might pee in a cup... But then they also order a, a a blood test. Then you get the blood test, and the blood test confirms. Then you get your and they and they usually that same day. If the P test comes back positive, they'll give you the prenatal vitamins and and the talk and the pamphlets and all the shit. And oh, then God, I remember sitting in that office for like an hour listening to the all the right. things that they were. Yeah, it's 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 like a whole thing, and then. You get put on the Referred schedule. Referred to an OB and everything. Yep. Yeah, they refer you to the OB and then you get put on the schedule for your regular checkups, right? Because you're supposed to go in every whenever. Well, you get your 12 week, then your 20 week, and then you're in every other week until 30, and then you're weekly until right. 40. And they measure the fundal height and all this other shit. Like, it's it's crazy. It's 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 a little much, to tell you the truth. As Thankfully, a, health insurance, it's almost free, well, except for delivery. It, it kind of, it feels like, what, if women never had babies before? Like, why do we have to do this? Like, didn't women have babies before all of this bullshit? I feel like they did, but it, it becomes very invasive at some point. You know, they tried to make me do that. Did your wife have to take that uh, diabetes test or whatever? Yep, she did the diabetes test and hated oh, it. Oh, my God. I refused to do it. I didn't know I you refused. could, but... Oh, you can. It's called informed consent. I didn't consent because I was sure I didn't have it. And and I didn't want to drink all that shit. You know, they make you drink this sugar shit that like yeah. it it's disgusting. And I had such a bad time with pregnancy. I was so sick for so much of it. I was throwing up all the time. And when they asked me to do that, I said, no, I'm not going to do that. I, I refuse. And the doctor was like, but you have to. I'm like, but I'm not going to. So what are you going to do about it? <laughs> you know, like, I'm not going to do that. And you can't make me. And I'm like, clearly you don't know me because I'm not doing it. And she goes, well, would you be willing to do a stick test for your blood sugar a couple of times a day? And I was like, oh, yeah, sure. My dad was a diabetic. So I was like, yeah, I'll stick my finger every day. Sure. Uh, so I did that for like three days or five days, three times a day, wrote down what the blood sugar was and sent it to her. I'm like, yep, there you go. I'm not diabetic. There you go. Don't My have wife is so diabetes. needle phobic. She would much rather drink a nasty drink and wait an hour mm. to then get poked 15 times over five days. Brad, I couldn't eat anything but watermelon when I was pregnant. You know why I chose watermelon? Because it had water in it? Because it tastes the same on the way back up. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yep. I couldn't keep anything down for like six months. So I ate massive amounts of watermelon. It was hydrating. It tasted really good. And when you throw it up, it pretty much tastes the same. And that was it. Watermelon. Like, it was so bad. I finally found an acupuncturist that helped me. And I would go to the acupuncturist she would do her thing. I would walk out of there. I would feel good enough to go and eat a sandwich and it would stay down and I would be able to eat for like three days. And then I have to go back to the acupuncturist. It was, it was very hard for me. I, I was very sick and I didn't want to take medication and all that other shit. We had, um, we had a friend right, of ours. The we're week. not getting through 43 pages. It's one no. o'clock in the fucking morning. As most of it is attachments. Oh, good. Okay, good. All right, where was I then? Well, then we can finish this because we're at, it was we're only on 10, pages. I think. Where was I? Oh, 10. All right. Uh, on August 21st, for, for, I said Firth again. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. Respondent, on the mind. Respondent 
filed a response to petition to establish paternity, stating, I am conster- concerned she is stalking me. This was days after petitioner informed respondent that filing an order of protection or injunction against harassment as a way to avoid meeting up would be at this. Oh, we already read this. Would be, would be. On August 21st, respondent filed a response to petition to establish paternity, stating under oath that it had been emailed to redacted as mailed via USPS first class mail to the petitioner's address. Neither were done, and the petitioner did not have knowledge of the response until she saw it on ECR online on the afternoon of. What is ECR? What's ECR? I don't know. On the afternoon of August 23rd. The Maricopa County Electronic Court Record. Ah, thank you, Brad. Respondent was informed on August 22nd that the petitioner planned to file for default on August 23rd. Despite knowing this and the petitioner's confirmation that he read the email via mail track, respondent still did not inform petitioner of his filing. I feel like I'm doing this in the wrong voice. She wrote this, right? Mm -hmm. Therefore, without the knowledge of anything being submitted by the respondent, petitioner filed for default on the morning of August 23rd. The respondent has committed fraud upon the court in his response to establish paternity filed on August 21st. An act of fraud upon the court harms the integrity of the judicial process and is wrong against the institution set up to protect and safeguard the public. You're not the public. (laughs) <laughs> the respondent falsely claimed under oath that party A is making up this entire claim. Pregnancy has not been proven and no proof of children shown. Respondent had been given petitioner's discharge of papers from her visit to Banner Urgent Care on June 1st, Exhibit 1, and acknowledged the petitioner had taken a pregnancy test that he had purchased in front of him. He had so purchased res- in front of him? I guess. Shut up, Brad. (laughs) I'm speaking. This is the words that I have written. Me, Laura Owens. I wrote this. I'm a genius. I'm a law genius. I know what I'm doing. Well, you're not crying, so. So respondent knew she was pregnant. This is fraud upon the court. The respondent falsely claimed the petitioner was refused. Stop making me laugh, Brad. Stop it. It doesn't work for the voice. The respondent falsely claimed, falsely, the petitioner was refusing a paternity test and unwilling to do a paternity test despite the petitioner offering to take one 21 times. 21 times, Brad. I offered to take one 21 times. You also offered to take plan B and still didn't take it. God damn it, woman. (laughs) Within email petitioner included a zip file of those unanswered emails which are voluminous and are not included here but can be provided no, the petitioner if, uh, <laughs> what if you're going to cite something as evidence of something and you don't include it in your filing then it doesn't exist <laughs> How dare you, sir? How dare you insult my, my, my integrity? Legal credentials. <laughs> How dare you, sir? How dare you? The petitioner scheduled a prenatal paternity test at the lab of Respondent's Choice Ravgen, paid the $725 as a deposit, and CC'd him on emails with the lab. What the fuck the... medical facility is charging $725 for a pregnancy test? These are twins, Brad. Twins. <laughs> twins. It costs twice as much, Brad. <laughs> I was going to say that. God damn it. Why? Why? Oh, I just got to check off false pregnancy test. Perfect. All right. Where was I? I've lost my place, Brad, and it's all your fault. Respondent was given several opportunities to confirm. God damn it, Brad. Oh, okay. The respondent was given several opportunities to confirm his paternity test appointment to the lab, but did not respond to them, so the test was canceled. Exhibit 6. Clearly, the respondent is the party who is unwilling to take 
a paternity, paternity, per, prenatal paternity. <laughs> Easy for you to say. <laughs> test. <laughs> At this point, I think she just wants to stick it with a needle to have a vial of his blood. <laughs> have you seen Emperor's New Groove? I love that movie. It's one of my wife's favorite movies, and when Yzma gets turned into a cat, that's exactly what you sound like, cackling. <laughs> sure it's there. <laughs> you scroll down, I'm sure they're right there. <laughs> scroll down! Okay, wait! Where was I? Uh, <clears throat> let's get serious, Brad. I'm Laura Owens, and I am a legal... I am a legal scholar! I am a le I wrote this document with chat GPT by myself! And you will respect it! God damn it! The respondents' accusations are un are knowingly untrue and presenting them under oath as fraud upon the court. The respondent falsely claimed that the petitioner would only take a paternity test if we were to date exclusively. The petitioner had requested a one or two week trial relationship given to the respondent. Given that the respondent was going to be the father of her children. No, 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 no. She that's a fraud on the court right there. Because she didn't say a trial <laughs> relationship for fucking just to see about if the respondent was going to be the father of her children. She said, and I quote, I want you to date me exclusively so that uh um I'm, so that I will take plan B and egg end the pregnancy. Because in my mind, she wanted to have the option of having sex with him in that week to actually become pregnant and cover up her own um, Brad, saying that she was pregnant. Brad, don't pretend like you don't want to have sex with Clayton Eckerd. Oh my Everybody God. Everybody wants to have sex with him. And obviously this is the best way to do it, is to get a contract that says that he will have sex with you. And if he doesn't have sex with you, you won't have the abortion that he wants to have. Clearly, this is the best way to have sex with Clayton. And the mean, contract said, what's wrong well, with you? Have if... you never dated before? Contracts come along with the, the whole game. Do you not know this? I had to sign a breakup contract. <laughs> what? An ex, before I married my wife... We were date we dated for like a year and a half or so and we were living together and she wanted to do shared custody of our of the dog that we had gotten. <laughs> she she wanted like a Sounds like a girl after my own heart. Every other week kind of, you know, deliver the dog to each other because we both just love this dog. And I was like, no. And she's like well, I bought this sofa, so you got to pay me eight hundred dollars of for this sofa, and I ended up paying this girl like fifteen hundred dollars, and I was like, "Fine, whatever, just sign the damn paper and go away." Oh my god! Wait, this was not your wife. No, this was girlfriend before wife. Oh, thank God you didn't marry her. Oh, never mind. I mean, why didn't you marry her? You should have <laughs> married her. She's clearly my kind of woman. I might. I. I. I still have the document too. You sh do you? We should read that on a stream. Oh my, oh my god. god. <laughs> All right, getting back to the document because it's getting late and I am tired. The petitioner had requested a one or two week trial relationship given that the respondent was going to be the father of her children. However, the petitioner offered several times to take the prenatal paternity test with no stipulations at all. Exhibit 7. Which the respondent knew. Hold on. Did she actually... Ex she actually attached her f fucking batshit crazy contract to this? I will die. I haven't read this yet. I have not read this yet. If that batshit crazy contract is in here, I am going to laugh my head off. Here we go. 
which the respondent knew, presenting to the court that the only conditions presented and required the respondent to be romantic in nature are purely false, and therefore is fraud upon the court. The respondent claimed that the petitioner would write defamatory comments to the press if an allegedly defamatory statement is substantially true, it provides an absolute defense to an action for defamation. Fenler v. Phoenix News. The petitioner has multiple text messages where the respondent is abusive in writing, Exhibit 8. In addition, the petitioner has guaranteed the respondent that he is the father and even offered to pay him $100,000 if he was not. He should have taken that deal. Did he take that deal? He should have taken that deal. Because he's definitely not the father because there's no babies. With proof of funds given to him, despite this, he refuses to take a paternity test. Claims of defamation are purely false since the truth of respondent's statements can be proven. The respondent has been unavailable for any conversations with the petitioner, including a good faith consultation. Respondent has falsely claimed representation when none has existed on August 4th. 2023 respondents said, I just walked out of a meeting with Raiz Mohammed, Mohammed with R.M. Warner Law. Raiz Mohammed with R.M. Warner Law. He will be re representing me here shortly once I send over payment to him. Petitioner attempted to get in touch with R.M. Warner Law and Mohammed, but they did not respond regarding their representation of the Respondent, in respondent's response to petition to restart, establish paternity, he states that he is representing himself without a lawyer. Imagine people representing themselves without a lawyer. Imagine. The petitioner has attempted to have a good faith consultation with the respondent prior to submitting this motion, but did not get a response. With sabbaticals. Wherefore, the petitioner requests the respondent be held in contempt of court for the failure to obey orders as pursuant to ARS 9C and sanctions for the respondent for noncompliance with the good faith consultation requirement for the motion to communicate submitted August 8th, 2023. That the court schedule civil contempt proceedings as pursuant to ARS Rule 76.2 against the respondent for fraud upon the court based on the knowingly false information and allegations submitted blah, 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 blah. Respectfully submitted Laura Owens. Okay, she's... She signed this under penalty of perjury, by the way. Exhibits... Exhibits in support of the petitioner. Proof, proof, I tell you, of the respondent's demands for petitioner to schedule tests at the prenatal paternity test at the lab of his choice, Rabgen. Proof that after the respondent's selection of testing facility, the petitioner asked the respondent about what date and time would work for him. 21 times via email to prove to the respondent that the twins were hers. The messages are not attached here since that would go significantly over the page limit imposed. By <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> is there a page limit for evidence? I don't think so. There is not. This is not. There is not a page limit for evidence. The messages are not attached here since that would go significantly over the page limit imposed by the court for evidence. Uh, no, 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 ma'am. There's no page limit. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Well, I mean, I guess maybe there might be. But I mean, I've seen, look, we just watched the Kowalski trial. There were documents and motions that were 600 pages, literally 600 pages. Now, granted, that's a different state. Maybe Arizona has a different thing. But like, that seems like a bullshit excuse to me. Like, and the other things would be, like, they would upload a document, and then they would upload a second, like, exhibits document or something like that. Like, it doesn't all have to be in one thing, and you can reference multiple, um, you could say exhibits uh, filed separately or whatever. Like, oh my god. You bet your ass you're not going to bed tonight, Alex. You bet your ass you're not going to bed. 
You have to learn about this case. <laughs> Alex says, I wish they were special gummy bears. Uh, there were gummy bears in this story. Somebody catch Alex up in the chat as to where the gummies came in. That would be before the team <laughs> That's the jobs. start of it all. <laughs> <laughs> there are gummies in the story. God, I could use a gummy right now. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. Why don't we have gummies on this stream? <laughs> well, I've got a good reason why I don't have one because wife says no. That that's that's the best reason. <laughs> tell Justin. Tell Justin that if he doesn't stop kicking you out of your own bedroom, that you're going to be pregnant with tonsil twins. <laughs> <laughs> and you won't take plan B until he dates you for a specific amount of time. Do what I would do, Alex, and just tell him. Corrupting your own family, Megan. How <laughs> dare you? Proof that the parties agreed, booked the test for August 23rd, a date that worked for both parties, paid for it, and then the respondent did not respond to either the lab or the petitioner's several messages to confirm it was canceled. <laughs> Lynn's Lynn said, my boyfriend left and went to bed because I'm laughing so much. Everybody's boyfriend is so freaking annoyed right now. Wife With is all thankfully the... upstairs and away from me, so. <laughs> final offer. Oh, my God. She literally put final. She literally put final offer in the heading. Brad, Brad, final offer like a mattress sale. Like a mattress sale. The worst used car salesman ever. Final offer. Oh my god. Final offer. Need to know ASAP. All right. You read it and have had time to consider it. You are refusing to take the paternity test now. I'm not playing games with you. If it's a no, please tell me. Um, Brad. Everything you're doing is playing games. I gotta be right back. <laughs> Brad, I gotta tell you, if you're gonna submit evidence to a court, you better not fucking put black bars over it. Whatever she wrote here in this redacted thing, the court needs to see. Where? What the hell? And would would everyone please look at this this signature? Look at she's got a picture of herself in a fake studio. Because nobody podcasts in a radio studio. Like people podcast from their living rooms. Not this ridiculous podcast studio. So her email signature has her podcast picture, her name, her podcast, her horse farm, her TEDx talk. Her uh, 30th anniversary edition of Chicken Soup for the Soul. I, I can't even... I, I can't. She final offer. Need to know ASAP. What's the final offer? We don't know because she's redacted the shit out of it. Oh my god. Canceling an IPP test on August 23rd. Good morning, Laura. We've canceled the test and refunded the $725 back to the card. Oh, she's just fucking with him now. Canceling the test, scheduling the test, then canceling the test. Oh boy, I I can't read through all this. It's too late. Maybe wait, we'll wait, wait, wait. It later. What? So, one, this is in Maryland. I know exactly where that city is. I don't know where the um uh, where Revgen is specifically, but um. Clayton, I genuinely thought you would have unblocked me based on what I wrote about how I felt disrespected, but I guess that's a no. As you can see, I was offering to do the test with no stipulations if you had done that. Now, it's not an option. I have tried everything at this point and give up on trying to get you to take accountability and deal with this issue privately. I think you want it to be public. 
which I don't want. Anyway, that's how it will have to go, because you can't ignore the fact that you will be a dad in February. <laughs> Laura, all the best. Oh, my God. For those of you who don't know, she's no longer pregnant. No explanation how. Okay. Cotton, you can have your attorney talk to me rather than Davis. Because I'm not sure what type of lawyer to retain since you hired an entertainment defamation attorney rather than a family lawyer. Similarly, you can respond to me and not Davis. Anyway, you relay your message and here is my response. She continues to claim that I'm denying a paternity test, but I haven't once. You're right, you haven't once. You have 21 times, see attached. If that's what you've told your lawyer, it's an out-and-out -out lie. I continue to say that I will gladly do a paternity test under the conditions I am comfortable with. Nothing has changed. Let me know if you're amenable to that. So let's schedule it and get it done. ASAP! All the best. Sorry, Brad. What were you saying? I worked around the corner from where this Ravgen company is located. The reason why it costs so much and whatever is because nobody else did paternity tests on twins. Ah. It's like a thing. Because there's floating DNA and it's a whole thing. From Laura Owens to info at Ravgen. She's talking about booking your but sure info at Ravgen, that's like the basic of basic like thing. That's not. This is just hers trying to say. He never said not to do the paternity test. Yeah. Alex, I think it's funny that you have pulled up. She's exhausting. Yeah. Yeah. Alex, we're all exhausted by her. This has been going on for months. It's finally coming to a close, though. The 27th. I can't wait it's, for the 27th. I can't wait. It's all coming to a close. Everything's starting to move now. Everything is starting to move. We're going to have a close on this. But she is also harassing journalists, YouTubers. Like, it's a whole thing. It's it, it's a whole thing. Like, you really need to catch up on all the fetal attraction streams. Trust me, Alex. You will not. I, I will not steer you wrong. Also, go subscribe to Dave Neal. Dave Neal Comedian. Oh, my God. Go watch all of his Clayton Ecker, Jane Doe streams. It's I will say the other fetal attraction uh, videos and streams did not have as much alcohol, so I don't know if they're going to be as fun as this. <laughs> That's also true. <laughs> what are you saying, Brad? What are you trying to say? I'm it's saying Saturday that night. we are funny when we are well lubricated. That is what I'm saying. <laughs> Funnier, maybe. Um, it's Saturday night, man. Saturday night. I have a right to drink a bottle of wine if I want to. Damn it, Brad. All right. Well, I've already done I two beers. You're you're half a bottle in, so. Yeah. Well, no, you had some at the party too. I'm actually a bottle in and and a half. <laughs> no, a bottle and a quarter, probably. I will pay for a hundred percent of it. You have my word. Let this message serve as proof. Just schedule it and let me know where you scheduled and I'll pay. Good Christ. I can't read this. It's too awful. It's just all about the scheduling. Is there oh, anything else? Oh, look. Here it is, Brad. My positive pregnancy test. ACG. POC. Positive. But, there you go. Hold on. Scroll up. I'm not done scrutinizing her attachment. <laughs> All right, blood pressure, 55 kilos. So she's a uh, 121 pounds. Doesn't say what her height is. Um, you were seen for first trimester pregnancy encounter for pregnancy test. Okay. There's plenty of reasons why HCG would be positive including epilepsy medicine, which she takes, or HCG uh, injections, fertility injections, all kinds of things that could make this be positive. 
a, a urine test is just a sign of pregnancy. It is not actual pregnancy. You need to confirm it after that. The test, yeah. the kit detects concentration. Oh my God, Legal Vices is in the chat. Somebody's oh no. awake late and it ain't me. Yep, that's me. Hey, Jeff, how you doing? There was recordings we had to go over and now I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just reading through more legal documents that are ridiculous. Oh, I like how she took the picture of this thing in the office, with the in the doctor's office. You never get a receipt while you're still in the waiting room. Or in the... That is weird. I've never had a receipt while I was sitting in the actual examination room. Examination room. You only get it when you leave, right? So yeah. how did she manage that? Weird. That is really weird. Th thank you for pointing that out because, oh my God, Brad, did you just catch her? Did someone come in and hand her a receipt? Well, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, you never get billing stuff until you leave. Oh, Brad. It's folded. Brad. <laughs> Does she have toe thumbs? Those are kind of toe thumby. <laughs> They're kind of toe-ish. <gasps> Laura Owens has toe thumbs. That's so weird. Well, that explains why it's a blowy and not a handy. <laughs> 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 Do we have Megan is broken on the bingo chat? Damn. We still haven't got bingo yet. I feel Wait, wait a second. It says Banner <laughs> Urgent Care Services, which is it's not the same Greenway place. It's not? Yeah, it is. What do you mean it's the, not the, the same? It says it says P. Oh, Phoenix. It says Phoenix. Phoenix. And then it says but location says Greenway. Okay. But then it says there's a payment, but then it says this is an estimate. How would you pay on an estimate? Where do you see estimate? On the bottom, er, uh, below the fold under thank you for your business. Well, because sometimes they tell you this is the estimate and you pay it. And then if there's something to be paid later. Oh, if it's finalized or whatnot. Yeah, later. they'll redo it. I've seen this before. I've seen that before. But, I mean, it is weird that you're holding a bill. How would you get the bill when you're still in the examination room? This is clearly an examination room. You don't get the bill till you go out to the desk. And then you get the bill there. Like, what? what? I mean, it says she paid it. There's a card number right there. Yeah, which means you would have left the examination room to go to the front desk to have them run the card. I think why is it folded is a really good question. You the, internet sleuths There, There are... is one one way. Some urgent cares take payments up front. And they say, what are you here for? Oh, they take it. Okay, it, maybe it, that's it. That would be the only logical reason why. Maybe... Okay, Legal Vices says it's folded and crumpled on the bottom. It is crumpled. Look, look at the crumpling. Yeah, if that was freshly printed, then that wouldn't do that. Unless she prepaid and then she folded it and like stuck it in her purse. I I I don't know. I I don't know. I don't know. But it's worth asking the question. I don't know what the fuck this is. I'm just going through it. Uh, to be filed tomorrow. Oh, here we go. To be filed tomorrow. Clayton, if you don't agree to meet up privately, then tomorrow I will be filing a motion to contempt. She's going to be filing a motion to contempt. Yeah. Hey, that... Jeff. Jeff, what do you think about a motion to contempt? <laughs> <laughs> we got to show him that word salad that we <laughs> went through. <laughs> There's going to be a motion to contempt. You better sh just shake in your boots, Clayton, because she's going to motion to contempt you. And she's going to motion to contempt you. Why am I still online? It's 1.30 in the Hello, freaking morning. I'm a MGL or MG Law Raider. MG Law Raid. Word to your mother. That was me doing Ben Shapiro during doing rap, by the oh, way. No. I, I haven't seen <laughs> that yet. And what? 
Oh, I'm sorry. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to go watch that. How have you not seen it? Do you really want to get copyright cucked by Daily no, Wire? I'll win. I'll win. I won twice already. I'll win. I'll win again. I'll win again. I don't care. I'm playing it. I want your reaction. It's so freaking funny. I have to have it. And while we're waiting, hold up. I said certified freak seven days a week. Make that pullout game weak. Hop on the top. I want to ride. I do a cake while it's inside. Spit in my mouth. Look in my eye. This keyword is wet. Come take a dive. Are there are signs of prolapse. This is Nick is in Paris. Get ready, liberals. Oh, boy. I Wait! Oh my god! Stop! We're it's not allowed going. to say that word on YouTube! <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. It's after two hours. You're fine. They can't say the N-word on YouTube and even after two hours. I will get ruined for that. I will be out. I will be gone. YouTube censors. That was AI. That was not me. That was Ben Shapiro AI. That was a computer. Oh my god. He's Jewish. He oh can't get god. in trouble. What? Is that true? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> you didn't hear what you just heard. Okay? That didn't happen. That didn't happen. That did not happen. Hold on, please. Hold, please. You didn't hear? That was oh. my rumble only button that I usually stop before it gets to that point. <laughs> and I forgot to stop it. Exactly. Damn, maybe we should just go over to rumble now and just call it quits. God damn it. Okay. You gotta see this. They call me offensive, controversial. It's only two genders, boys and girls. They can't cancel my message because I'm the biggest independent rapper in the whole freaking world. Claim that I'm racist, yeah, all right. I'm not ashamed because I'm white. If every Caucasian's a bigot, I guess every Muslim's a terrorist. Every liberal is right. I don't want to talk to folks who don't get it. Go woke, go broke, no hope. It's pathetic. Pro choice pronouns, pro love, you're progressive. But you ain't pro gun, no one to protect you. Where the American flags at? Remember when people would hang those? They've been taken down, they've all been replaced with BLM flags or a rainbow. The same rap, the same money, cars and clothes. We ain't selling drugs, we ain't gonna overdose. We ain't pushing guns, ain't promoting stripper poles. We won't turn your sons into thugs or your daughters into hoes. I don't care if I offend you. I was put here to upset you. Okay, wait, Brad. Have you ever seen anybody look more uncomfortable in a hoodie <laughs> than Shapiro in your whole damn, whole damn life? I just said your whole damn life. That's funny. Your wow. whole damn life. So the funny thing about this is the... Um... Okay, Brad, you have to turn your camera on. Jeff oh. says we can't get your reaction without the camera oh, on. Yeah, Where's man. your cam? Does it work? Can you turn your camera on? I can. I just got to get it set up. All right. Well, set up your camera because it's true. We need your reaction to this. And, like, we need the face. That's true. I am part black. 4% Jamaican. Senegalese, to be, to be exact. So maybe I can use that card. Uh, uh, Alex, did you even know that about me? Uh, my, my mother's family is from Jamaica and we, they did the DNA tests and Grammy is, it's like 40% Senegalese, 40%, which makes her kids like 20 and the grandkids are like, or maybe no, it's less than that. It's like, I don't know. I, I can't tell, but we've got some Senegalese in there <laughs> that could explain my hair. I'm not sure. <laughs> brad are you set up yet is your yeah. camera set up oh so i usually do it via a wire and now i've got to do it with a over the your wi-fi connection or so. oh. look at the it guy being all slow oh yeah. there we go all right and all i right. had to turn on my lights so now if you're it looks like i've got a studio outside because it's all right it's seriously, have you ever seen anybody look more uncomfortable in a hoodie, in a sweatshirt, than Ben Shapiro? Although the funny thing about that hoodie is that the Fax logo is almost done in the exact same way the Dare logo was. The Dare logo. I love it. I know. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I do think that this song should, it's like my theme song. It really is. It speaks to me in a in a very deep way. I don't care if I offend you. Like, that is my theme. I don't care if I offend you. I love it when people email me and they're like, this thing that you did was so offensive. And I'm like, I don't care. Then be <laughs> offended. That's it. Be offended. Uh, MG Law says Dare was so successful. 
Well, the branding was pretty successful. That was about the only thing <laughs> that was successful about Dare. Jingleberry says, I literally thought it was Megan's merch song. It really should be. The more I listen to it, the more I think this is like my, this is my anthem, man. I hope I offend you. I love that line. I do. I hope it every day. I pray to God every day that I offend you out there. I hope you're offended when you hear me speak. You know why? Because that offense you're feeling, that's the First Amendment. That's what that is. That's reminding you that we that it's important. I hope I offend you. I hope it every damn day. All right, now look. Everyone's saying smile. tech tech bingo. No, this is not tech bingo because I took the cable that I usually use for the camera um, over USB, and I just had to set it up elsewhere. So it's not a <laughs> complete um snafu it's just i had to reconfigure something temporarily when ben pops up on the screen behind him and he gives that little wicked grin now watch that's him wave. that's really good i i i like that watch him wave watch him right. wave. it's so funny i i died laughing Wait, missed it. Uh, I saw it briefly. Let's just keep it <laughs> real facts. Don't care how you feel, man. If you want my pronouns, I'm the man. I'm the man who don't respect. Let's look at the stats. I've got the facts. My money like this, and my pockets are fat. Oh my god! Wait, everyone was like, "Wait, this is not AI. This is actually Ben rapping." Yeah, it is. My pockets like Lizzo. My money is fat. <laughs> See, but the thing is, is Ben talks on his show like he's on meth already, and then in order for him to do this rap, he's got to be like on triple meth or something. No, he actually he actually slows down. You, you're never going to hear him speak slower than he does during this rap, which is which cracks me up. I'm actually surprised that Tom didn't have him do like an Eminem style super fast rap because he could have. Oh, he, he's got the tongue for it. He he can go. Oh my God, he talks so fast that I slow him down on his videos sometimes because I can't take it. Like, it's too much. By the way, people are like, you you hate The Daily Wire. Why do you love Ben so much? I have been watching Ben since he was 16 years old. I have a soft spot for him. Ben was 16 when he first started writing. 16 years old. And I was uh, a little older than him. I'm a little older than him. But I was also in the conservative movement from the time I was 15, 16, I was into it. I was like listening to, I knew Rush. I was, I was into it. So I was listening to all of the conservatives at the time. So when he came out, he was in college, he was, he may have gone to college early. The, the kid's like a genius. Like he was like a, um, a prodigy. Mm -hmm. And he wrote his first book when he was in his, still in his teens. That's great. And I, I've been lit, I've been following him since he was a kid. So I have a real soft spot for Ben. A re I really do. And when they started doing the AI Ben Shapiro rapping, I was like, I've been telling my audience for a year now, he could have a fantastic second career as a rapper. He's so freaking funny. Alex, why do I hate the Daily Wire? It's a whole thing. I'll tell you about it. I'll text you about it later. Um, but there's there's personal reasons. Um, uh, but we don't need to get into that now. Let's look at the stats. I've got the facts. My money like lives with my pockets are fat. Homie, I'm epic. Don't be a whap. Dog, it's a yarmulke. Homie, no cap. All right. Dog, it's a yarmulke. Homie, no cap. I didn't know what this meant. Yeah. I knew, I didn't know what homie, no cap meant. Do you know what that means, Brad? So, homie, he's talking to the other person. That's an address. <laughs> okay, but what does no cap mean? No cap is new teen slang for I'm telling the truth. Oh, so you knew this. I yeah. didn't know that. I didn't know that. But when I saw them, when, okay, the first reaction I had was, oh my God, he looks so uncomfortable in that hoodie. Take the hoodie off. I want him in the suit coat and the t-shirt. That's where Ben belongs in a suit coat and a t-shirt. So when his rap comes in and he's wearing, he's on his set, I'm like, oh, thank God. 
<laughs> Thank God they're not going to make him try to pretend to be a rapper. But that homie no cap thing is hilarious. And uh, I watched all the reactions and all the reactions, these guys who were like super into rap or whatever, they would just fall out of their chairs at this line. So I had to look it up on Urban Dictionary because I'm like, I don't even know what this means. But it's a great double entendre. It's great. It's really good. It's a yarmulke, homie, no cap. So in one, on one hand, it's a, it's a yarmulke, which is a religious symbol. It's not a cap, but on the other hand, it's, it's for real. <laughs> like, yeah. like this is, it has so many different meanings. These lyrics are it's so layered. good. It's lyrical. It's great. It's great. It's really, really good. I did not think it would be so good, but it is good. Look at my charts. You're blowing money on strippers and cars. You go into prison. Dog is a yamaka, homie, no cap. Look at the grass. Look at my charts. You're blowing money on strippers and cars. You go into prison. I'm on television. Dogs, no one knows who you are. You <laughs> I laugh so hard at this. You're, you're blowing your money on strippers and cars. <laughs> I thought you said cars. Cars no, actually makes more sense. Strippers and cars. I think he said cars. You're going to prison. I'm on television. No one knows who you are. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Okay, wait. We're going back to the beginning. It's a Yamaka, homie, no cap. Look at the grass. Look at my charts. You're blowing money on strippers and cars. You go into prison. I'm on television. Dogs, no one knows who you are. Keep hating on me on the internet. My comment section all woke Karen's. And I make racks off compound interest. Y'all live with your parents. Nikki, take some notes. I just did this for fun. All my people download this. Let's get a billboard number one. Brad. Did it hit number one? It hit number one worldwide Apple. Oh my wow. Number one. Beat That's Nikki. Crazy. Beat beat Nikki. And Nikki and Ben have developed a friendship on Twitter that cracks me up. Wait, Nikki which Nikki? Minaj, okay. Nikki Minaj and Ben Shapiro have been going back and forth on Twitter. And it, and she said, I heard it. It's not bad. And you know her saying it's not bad means it's really good. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. It's good. Um, he beat Nicki Minaj. He beat on Apple uh, Apple iTunes. He also beat that other one, the WAP one. What's her name? Megan um, Thee Stallion. Yeah. Yep. So this all started because Ben read the lyrics to WAP or WAP, whatever they call it. That awful song. And he's been critical of that. And this just goes to show that like, you can write a rap, you can make a rap that doesn't have any of that shit in it and you can get it to number one. Now, is it a billboard number one? Not yet, but they have until they had until Thursday to my understanding to get all the downloads in and the downloads have been epic. So on let's check right now actually hold on let me look at something what are we at views oh my god 12.9 million views it's claiming here that they're number, number three, three in music. but that's bullshit because guess what watch this shit megan the stallion only has 11 million views and Nicki Minaj only has 4.9. How do you make facts number 12 million number three? How do you do that? Probably because the rate of growth of views on Megan is higher than that of facts at a particular time. You know what? It fucking sucks. Yeah. Like I think I think they're cheating. That's what I think. I think they're cheating. I think that's bullshit. They call me offensive, controversial. It's only two All right, now we're spinning. Shit, I did something wrong. Hold on. <sighs> they can't cancel my message because I'm the biggest independent rapper. Those we ain't pushing guns, ain't promoting stripper poles. We won't turn your sons into thugs or your daughters into hoes. I don't care if I offend you. I was put here to upset you. Oh, fudge. Come on. Why are you doing this now? 
Why does YouTube do this to me? Well, the, no, was... this this would be your tech problems, bingo. <laughs> oh, bingo! Bingo! We got bingo, folks. We got bingo. There it is, right there. We got bingo. Damn it. All right. Um, we're switching over. Oh, fuck. Why is this happening? Hold on. Let me just close out these sh this shit. I have too many windows open. Oh. Maybe I can make this work. There we go. Thank you. Let's just keep it real, thanks. Don't care how you feel, man. If you want my pronouns, I'm the man. I'm the man who don't respect. Let's look at the stats. I've got the facts. My money like Liz, my pockets are fat. Homie, I'm epic. Don't be a whap. Dog, it's a yarmulke. Homie, no cap. Look at the graphs. Look at my charts. You're blowing money on strippers and cars. You go into prison. I'm on television. Dogs, no one knows who you are. Keep hating on me on the internet. My comment section all woke Karen's. And I make racks off compound interest. Y'all live with your parents. Nikki, take some notes. I just did this for fun. All my people download <laughs> this. Let's get a billboard number one. This ain't rap, this ain't money, cars and clothes. We ain't selling drugs, we ain't gonna overdose. We ain't pushing guns, ain't remote and strip of poles. We won't turn your sons into thugs or your daughters into hoes. I don't care if I offend you. I was put here to upset you. You can cry and you can scream, you can ride in the streets. You can the police now there's no one to protect you i'll bother you i ask myself what would ben do let's just keep it real facts don't care how you feel man if you want my pronouns i'm the man i'm the man who don't respect you you mad you mad you mad i guess it's cool to be the victim well i'ma be the man you said, you said, you said, you just try to get attention, being triggered's all you have. You mad, you mad, you mad, you blame everybody else for every problem that you can. You said, you said, you said, I will never say I'm sorry, I ain't taking nothing back. I don't care if I offend you, I was put here to upset you. He looks like a cardboard cutout. He, it, like he's not even standing there. <laughs> I just can't take him seriously in a hoodie. I don't know what it is. I think but, this repeats until the end. Uh, yeah, there's there's nothing else. So that was Ben's rap there. What what what's your reaction, Brad? Well, the funny thing is, is I remember them saying, um, "I'm on the right, and they're on the." whatever so i was so into conservative um political commentary that uh, a buddy and me started a radio program on our uh, high school public access radio station did you really oh my god we and, are soulmates <laughs> and, and th this is the funny thing so we called ourselves the always right show <laughs> and then because our district had two high schools we were on one side of the um, county, and then there was one on the other side. And a group of left-leaning um, students wanted to start a um, opposing show. So what did they name their show? <laughs> of course they did. The Always Correct Show. Oh, my God. <laughs> now, That's not th funny at all. This was back in 2006. Like, <laughs> That's not funny. That's not good. No. So, you know, being politically correct was already uh, there even then. So when I was in high school, um, I was in this honors English class, and sometimes the talk would go to politics, and I was a, I was a rush baby. Boy, mm -hmm. I, was, I, was, I was dyed in the wool, baptized by rush, like for sure. Oh, yeah. So I, and I was, I was into it. Like my parents used to get the spectator at, at home, the magazine, the yep. actual spectator with Ann Coulter and, and uh, 
Oh God, so many, and the cartoons and everything. I, I remember like, getting Rush's magazine to my because my stepfather right? was doing it, and it would have the Mad TV like covers on right. it, and it would the just look so, so different. So good, they were so good. So I would. I, at this this English class I was in, it was an honors class, and sometimes the it would go to politics, and I was always the one who was like pro America, and I would say something about it. I would talk, and it was so, I was so into it and so ridiculous. My classmates would start going like this, <laughs> and they were waving imaginary flags. Yeah sarcastically waving flags i will never forget it it was very funny and i would start laughing like it was hilarious uh by the way on rumble thanks for the 20 dollars rumble rant bpst sent 20 bucks and just said hi hi bpst love ya thanks for dropping by and thanks for sending a rumble rant i i really appreciate you uh i think i've missed something over here to natasha uh <laughs> natasha oftentimes the nurse will bring you the visit notes before you check out I've never, yeah, I've never had that, that happen. So I'm not saying that that couldn't happen. I'm just saying that's never happened to me. Uh, locals, you're killing me. You're literally killing me right now. What did they do? Oh my God. Meganfox.locals.com. If you want to be a part of this community that does shit like this, <laughs> <laughs> you need to sign up right now. Promo code tonsil twins. <laughs> Two months free for an entire year. <laughs> the best way to ask me out is by a contract. <laughs> Seriously, do these people make you laugh or what? Okay. They make me laugh all day long. Like, I literally laugh all day long. I'm in there all day long. Oh. It's amazing I can be productive at work with the amount of stuff that's going on. I know it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> what is Jake's You guys are killing me. Oh my god! I haven't seen locals in a while. I haven't been looking. I haven't been paying attention. And like they're just doing shit over there. Like like I don't even know what this is, but I'm going to share it. I don't know what we're looking at. I would. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> I wouldn't fake it, unlike this grammarly, incapable, fertile tonsil twin having Ted talking, stick pee avoiding, Reddit triggered, vocal frying SOB sob monster phrasing. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Oh my gosh. I, I'm not, obviously not going to get to the rest of the document. There's another document, though, that we're going to read sometime next week. There is so much shit going on with this case, and it's all coming to a head. It's all coming to a head. Um, phrasing. We already started with head, but. <laughs> extra large and extra hard. And it should end with coming to a head. Um, no. Phrasing. <laughs> oh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Oh, uh, Kylie needs a holiday. Thanks to the super chat. Says, have you checked RA's J hatch interest counter? I did. You know what? Let's look at it and see where the J hatch interest is. They haven't entered final judgment though. Right now. Oh yes, they have. Oh, did they you did? miss that? The yeah. judge entered the final judgment. Brad, oh. Brad, catch up. Cause I remember uh, they, we were saying that they wanted to file the, uh, a stay on it while they're pending the appeal. Up, Brad. They filed the stay after, after the final judgment. The final judgment happened, Brad. Where have you been? Uh, in Mexico on a vacation. <laughs> so that, yeah, you missed it. You missed it, my brother. You missed it. You missed it, my brother. They filed the final judgment. And hold on, Jules sent this to me today. Where the hell did it go, Jules? Where's your email? Damn it, I have the link here. Hold, please. Hold, please. It's not a live stream until I get to play my hold music. <laughs> Looking for the email. Please hold. Please hold. Where the hell did it go? Ah, there it is. Got it. Got it. Got it. I got it. And <gasps> judgment amount. Oh my God, look at this. 
how did he do this? Oh my God. I love Scott so much. It's not even funny. Like I love this man. It's not he, even do anything, but it's still buffering. I know it's still buffering. YouTube hates me, but let's just say that the judgment amount was 200. So the final judgment after all the remitters and all the other shit, <clears throat> it's on auto. So let's just change it to like low here. No, what? <sighs> all right. Here's the interest. So far, just since the final judgment, $797,000 has accrued since the judgment, the final judgment was entered. Can you believe this shit? Because it was what, 20,000 a day? Something like that. Yeah. 20,000. Well, almost 800,000, then you're, it hasn't been 40 days. I don't know. Don't ask me. I didn't or, do the or, math. Or is the final judgment done since the um, the jury found it and it doesn't start until the final judgment is entered, which would then give it like back pay to when well, the jury. Actually, I found. actually don't. I don't know the answer to that question. I'm assuming Scott <clears> got <throat> the answer to that question before he did the math. I, does that sounds. That sounds closer to why fifty six thousand a day. Okay, that then this would be like well, it could be two... fifty something. That I don't know how much it is a day. I just know it's a shit ton of money. It is a shit ton of money. And yeah, that's fifty k a day. Oh, oh, you're right. You're absolutely right. Quiet, quiet Laura quiet. said. Oops, not I. What that wasn't for you. I hit that on accident. Laura says, Megan, show Brad the dating kit by Rogue Mama. Oh. The dating kit. Oh dear God! You mean the video? Or that was dating kit. Well, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold. Please. My YouTube is acting really weird. It's acting bizarre. I have a theory about it that we have to talk about offline. We can't talk about it on YouTube, but we can talk about it you offline. Just, you can just blame uh, Spawn or hung Hangry using up all your bandwidth. Nobody's up right now. Okay, Legal Vices says interest accrues from the date the judgment is issued. In Florida, Jeff, are you sure about that? Are you sure? I would imagine. Oh, okay. Um, what was I looking for? I've totally the forgotten. Dating kit. <gasps> right. Okay, hold on. Hold, please. Hold. Touch your mouth, kit. All right, so one of my locals crew did something really hilarious, and I don't know if you saw it or not. I know I'm who Rogue sure. Mama is. I've, I've seen her. So. This is not working. Okay, it's got to be on my locals here somewhere. It's on my locals page. You just go scroll around and find it. While we all enjoy the dulcet sounds of this elevator music, while Brad dances. <laughs> Dang it, where is it? What am, I, what am I looking at right now? It should be everybody's post, not just mine. I'm going to have to be a ninja going to bed after this. I know, right? You're going to have to like sneak in to bed. Me too. I think my kid just went to sleep behind me. She just went to bed. She was like, whatever. She falls asleep a lot to me talking. Um, Soothing. <laughs> she says it doesn't bother her, and she just falls asleep. Yesterday, or last night, my son fell asleep, and he had his uh, foot through the crib flat. So we thought that he might have gotten it stuck. So I was like, all right, time to go be a ninja. And I, lit I had to go in and mission impossible my way into this room while he's sleeping. Push his foot through without waking him up, him up, and then get back downstairs with every stupid uh, uh, floorboard wanting to squeak while I'm walking through his room. Oh my gosh, the foot through the crib thing has happened to me so many times, so many times. Locals chat, would you please put the link I'm looking for in the chat? I can't find it. Why can't I find it? Brad needs to see this. 
the dating tips that um, Rosalind made. Rosalind, where are you? Please put the thing oh, Rosalind, in the... So she didn't create it. Someone else did. It was Rosalind. Did somebody put it in there? Somebody. It's 2 a.m. Oh, my God. This she is turned so it off. Funny. Now one of you guys find it. Someone has to find it in the locals chat because I can't find it right now. But look what locals did. This is funny. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I still streaming? I don't or know. Organically grown GMO free memes. <laughs> organically grown. <laughs> If you want to be a part of the local stream uh, and the uh, memes that go on there, the memeing, the meme farmers, they're, they work very hard over there on locals. Look, guys, are you dropping me the link I need or not? And for only $5 a month, you can help support your local meme farmers. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. Oh, this is so funny. Oh, so good. It's so good. Have you I ever heard it. of uh, Epic Rap Battles? Uh, no. Oh, man. It, it was Rosalind. It was Rosalind that did. Yes, chat. It was Rosalind. But is she up? Is she here? Shit. It should be in my um, history, my YouTube history, because I played it last night or whenever, Friday. Um, but I'm like dumb right now because it's late and I can't figure out how to do it. Wait. All right. We're going to end on this because Brad has to see it. He has to. He literally has to see this. If he doesn't see it, we have a problem. Where's my history? Why can't I find my history on YouTube? Shit. On the left side panel. It's not there. I'm going, to, I'm there, I'm on my channel, and it's not there on the left. My history's just not there. It's just gone. This is really freaking annoying. Mm. Tech problems should be like three or four squares on the bingo card. <laughs> oh, frick. Because I don't remember what it was called. Locals, you're falling down on the job. Like, no one is responding. Did you all go to bed? Damn. All right. I'll have to go to... All right. Because I refuse to give up. I'm going to go to yesterday's stream and just find it because it's there, at the end. I found it. Oh, you did? How did you find it? That's Lala's it. Lala's ultimate catch a man kit. <laughs> That's it. Okay, play it. And then we're out of here. Wait, you didn't share it. <laughs> did all the Tolulu. You're just watching it. You didn't share it. Go back. Oh, oh what, what, I you thought forgot, I did. No, you forgot to put it on the screen. I had oh, to geez. do it. Sorry. Here, share. Here, the shared. There. Okay. Now go to the beginning. Is Lala's ultimate catch a man kit. Did you find your soulmate, but he's not cooperating? This kit is for you. We did all the Delulu, so you don't have to. The Catch a Man kit. Includes... Do you get the Delulu reference? Delusional. No. No. So there, there's That's this... not delusional. Well, there's a um, like a Nigerian guy who speaks in like that African English um, dialect, and he like reviews other videos, and he goes, really? "Are you Delulu?" <laughs> and then like they'll say something you'd be like jesus christ on a motorbike <laughs> oh, oh it's God. so funny oh if i find one stamp uh, my wife follows him so I'll, she can find one fairly quickly for it but color-coded gummies so you don't roofie yourself oh, God. <laughs> one reusable plan b package three always positive pee sticks trademark pending over four thousand scripted texts reusable sonograms or CT scans and a one size fits most baby bump. But wait, there's more. Check out the extra De Lulu package. <laughs> this package includes alternate online profiles, fake legal documents, sympathetic backstory, 
stupid life coach business template for convincing backstory, fake TED Talk topics, detailed timeline with when and how to escalate the convincing of your soulmate. Take advantage of our founders over 10 years of documented research. Don't delay. Your happily ever after starts here. Any resemblance to actual persons is purely intentional and 100% satire. But wait, <laughs> there's more. There's more. Order La La's Ultimate Catch a Man Kit now and receive a travel sized turkey baster. Visit La La's Happily Ever After biz. Shipping and handling not included. Additional fees may apply. <laughs> Go ahead, girl, catch your man. This has been a. Go fuck yourself. I mean, good morning production. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.